This is an explicit podcast where we try to keep the conversations as raw and authentic as possible with no intentions of hurting anyone. So if you're very woke, religious, or sensitive, we highly recommend you do not tune in. Round five, okay? Yeah. A car literally came outside my house, screamed Vishnu Pundre, and <laughs> showed. And I was like, the fuck? And this, like, the CCTV showed, like, like entering like my guard house and yeah. stuff. The effort. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I don't remember. The car, the number plate is one driver, you know. Who do and you think it is? I don't know, bro, because none of the people I know drive that car. It sounds like something me and my friends would do, though. Do you drive a Hyundai Gets? What is yeah. a Hyundai Gets? Ugly ass car. Like. The hatchback, right? No. Somewhat. The guy drive by and just shot Pundey. Uh, Vishnu Pundey and he screamed. Oh, then, he, then he knows you. No, the thing is, like, I don't know who did it. Because usually they would, like, confess and say, like, hey, I did this or some shit. But yeah. I couldn't find it. It's just... Actually rolling already, dude. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Is this the most brown boys you've had in your room? Uh, no, I've had even browner. That's disrespectful, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I'm brown as fuck. <laughs> there are darker ones too. No, brown is not about the shade. Uh-huh. Then- when you say someone's brown, it's about like the vibes. The vibes, right? You know what I mean? So what, what kind of vibes represent the brown people? <laughs> are you looking at it? Oh, damn. Mm. You can't explain it in words. It's a feeling. It's mm. a feeling, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Rude. I said to do that, lah. <laughs> no disrespect, though. No, no, all good, all good. Yeah, in fact, right, most of the time when there are four people, it's mostly brown. I, I'm, okay, do you, like, been, do you like chicken boiled or, uh, or fried? I don't see where, it, I mean, I have an idea where this is going, but yeah, I like fried. Okay, what color is the fried chicken? Brown, There you go. Yeah. There we go. The great point. Yeah. Whatever you're going for, I support it. Yeah. Okay, let me ask her. Do y'all, okay, chicken thigh or breast? Breast. Breast. What? Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Someone, there's a correct answer to this. It's always Thai. Why? Chicken breast is fucking dry because it's too thick. No matter what way you cook it, unless you like Gordon Ramsay or something, right? But I mean, for people like Vishan and myself who work out in the gym six times a week, exactly. Ah, yeah. Chicken breast gives us the protein that we need for the gains, bro. Yeah, I didn't know that, bro. I, I only go to gym five times a week. I'm not. Oh. Yeah, okay. It gives me the breast too. <laughs> Dude, but I okay, fine. Let let me rephrase this: chicken breast or Thai, but they both. Consists of the same nutritional value, yeah. exact same. Chicken yeah. breast. Yeah. Chicken. Th- this is what I don't get. If I've had this conversation with people, and they tell me that even if a thigh and a breast has the same amount of protein and uh, low fat, right, yeah. they will still pick a breast, and I don't understand that. Mm. Mm. So you're a thigh person, lah. I, I mean, don't you like things that taste better? <laughs> like a, a chicken, chicken thigh is more tender. If you say it tastes better, I'll just not even eat chicken. Yeah. Yeah, chicken tastes like shit. Agreed, agreed. It's just healthy. What? It's just healthy. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jais, if you want to sponsor the podcast, you know, like, yeah, reach out, right? <laughs> okay, guys, uh, short introduction. Yeah. Welcome, let's get it podcast. I'm your host, BK. Farzan Iqbal. We've got Raj Mahal. What up, man? Um, you guys probably already know, Hits the FM DJ. That's right. We've got uh, Vishnu, hey, who well, I just met. Self invited. Yeah. Seven yeah. Before we start, guys. So recently, I've checked the YouTube metrics. In terms of viewers, let's say 100% views the video that I posted, only 30% are subscribed. Matt. Ooh, that's crazy. No, no, no. I, that's a 30% conversion rate. Yeah, yeah but... You He's know, trying to say it could be 31. Oh. <laughs> that's is, is that what you're trying to get at? I, something like that. But I would prefer more of like... 100% or Definitely, yeah. So help your audience understand why they should subscribe to you, bro. If you guys want to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay fine, it's very simple. If you guys smile, if you guys laugh, you guys enjoyed the podcast, you watched it more than once. Okay, you watched it two times, three times. I would consider that kind of disrespectful if you don't click the subscribe oh, button. Oh damn, okay. So yeah. you better subscribe. So I would yeah. appreciate it if you do click the subscribe button. It literally will help me a whole lot. Leave a like and share this video with your friend. Comment as well. Can I do it? Yes, like, you can. like sub- <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, subscribe. Just right here. Subscribe. Yeah, a, a bit lower. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. 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 Like near right your dick. Yeah, it's cl- not not there, like <laughs> yeah. no, but because that's the money maker, you know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. And ever fuck you if you're not subscribed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're watching this, it takes you one click to support a creator. Yeah? Exactly. You know, yeah. we, we don't earn much money. Exactly. None yeah. of us do, you know, like being completely honest with you. I'm a good example. Uh, yeah. yeah. And um Raj is funny. Yeah, a single sub- <laughs> like like you know if you subscribe, like you're putting food on our table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this food, yeah, 
It's all we have now. Yeah, exactly. Could be better. <laughs> yes. like, at least a plate, you know, we just have a Tupperware, like... Okay, so what's that, though? That's not the rubbish bin. <laughs> 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 There's actually food for well, us. Let's see what's that, dude. Huh? Oh, damn! It's a pastry! It's a raw oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, it's a party, baby. What's that? It's pastries, bro. Oh, oh, it's oh, the fish! It's a G, bro! Ooh. Damn, we got pastries, shit! Damn. Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, we're doing good. Y'all better subscribe now. This yeah. was sponsored by someone who feels really bad for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So much appreciated. Thank you, Joshua. Cool. So yeah, subscribe. Thank you. It's just joking. We don't say fuck you on this podcast. We are very matured people. Dude, don't you work at Hits FM? Uh, it's Hits FM. We removed the dot ten years ago. Yeah. But yeah, um, I do. I know that has reminded me of that. Um, <laughs> see, forget. Yeah, I do. But yeah, um, are you this vulgar on Hits FM? No, I can't be because I lose my job. Yes. Um, and I mean, compared to all the other like talk shows and podcasts I've done before, yes. there's there's no uh, limit to what we can say there, mm. right? And there is a bit of pent up. Um, energy yeah, like that you want to kind of let loose right now. Yeah, so we're shouting like fuck in the car for ten minutes. Let is it that a routine every time after it you is, finish the show? Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a go at it now, or are you kind of out of fucks? No, I'm, 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 I have no more fucks to give. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a good one. It's a good clip, bro. I hung out with some of your buddies the other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I found really interesting was. You guys probably know each other for like 10 years, right? Probably a more. Long, than, long uh, time. Uh. It's probably like... Yeah, you guys were playing yeah. gay chicken. Oh yeah, we were. Was that? Gay chicken. So what gay chicken is, um, you're with your, your buddies, right? And then you you guys are straight peop- straight guys. Yeah. But you guys, you know, do stuff like... Ooh, yeah, and then it starts, getting, like it starts escalating. Yeah. And someone's like, I'm going to lick you. And like, yeah. 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 Rats is there all the time. Not to me. La. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Yeah. I've, I've gone on a company trip with a friend yeah. and I've licked his nipples. <laughs> It's just because I have a lot of love for him. That's all? That's it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I've had words on my face. <laughs> okay, he, no, here's what's funny because, like you say, you, you do that, right? And among my boys, we do that as well. Mm. But it's like such a normal thing, we didn't think it was a game. Until he's like, are you guys playing gay chicken? I'm like, no, this is our daily, <laughs> this is our daily life. <laughs> <laughs> so so what, what constitutes not playing gay chicken? Like, what's the highest level? What's the highest level? Before it becomes gay chicken. Nothing, we straight up when we meet each other, we're just like gay chicken already. Like how gay? So, so what was funny was I'm, I've never met his boys. Yeah. I've only met Fazan. Yep. So I could see that some of the boys were probably not as, I, I would say they'd probably be even gayer if I wasn't there. Yeah. But I, yeah. I think Fazan was also holding back on the gayness. Because you know? mm. he didn't want me to feel like, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 But the truth is, I do that shit all the time too. Yeah. 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 Um, you seem pretty proud of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You want to challenge her? No, no, it's fine. Yeah. I've had a friend, his name is Raj. This Raj, um, while I was like knocked out, sleeping. Knocked out, huh? like fist fights. Huh? No, 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 like sleeping, uh, sleeping. He literally put his testicles Jeez, on my face. Yeah. Raw. Not cooked, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah. Like before shower or after shower? Like Based on the smell. What's the seasoning? Like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't open my mouth. How, 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 do, how do you feel about that? Uh, being oddly specific. So he. he he just teabagged me. Like Counter Strike. He, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, ah, shit. Me. And, and how do you feel about that? Um, oddly turned on. And, you know. <laughs> Make sure it's not this Raj. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would remember if I did that too. It's, it's, I think it's a Raj thing. So, did your friendship with him change after that incident? It just got really close. Damn. Oh, damn. That's usually how it is, though. <laughs> For all the right reasons, like. Dude, I, I was watching uh, an episode of Amen, right, just now. Yeah. Uh, Raj ha- did, has a podcast with you guys are not, not doing it anymore no it? no we stopped yeah. it no. so from yeah. Takeaway Table Amen with the Joseph and Mingyu Mingyu yeah. yeah dude then there was one episode this is fucking hilarious <laughs> they were um, I think Mingyu was talking about when you guys were playing Apex together yeah yeah yeah. and uh, yeah, he's a player yeah you, you know what yeah. I'm talking about yeah. And then and was then it a the sniper situation? It's something like you ask you ask me you like, hey, pass me the item. So in Apex, right, you go up, you you get dropped off somewhere and then you go to an area, then you as you with your team, you collect weapons. Yeah. And uh I think Raj said to Minyu, pass me this, pass me this weapon. And then uh Minyu said, Say please first. Yeah, some shit like that. Oh, like. Bro, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, cause, cause when, when, you, when you get dropped onto the map, the first reaction is to just pick up everything and anything around you. Just spam E, basically. Yeah, like, exactly. No, no, yeah. Okay, um, let me let me uh, say that. So at the start, before you all started the night, yep. Raj came inside 
uh, the chat lah. Probably I say uh, I, th- I think it's a Discord chat. Yep. And you're like, all right, guys, tonight's the night. You know, we ain't stopping until we have ten wins. Yeah. You know, we gotta uh, get that W tonight. And then after playing like the first game, after that happened, and you said, and I Mingyu said to you like, uh, say please first. And then after a while, Raj said, um, oh, guys, I'm tired. I'm gonna go already. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Hey, we got Dash in the Yo, building. What's up, Dash? Special what's up, what's up bro? In the house. Gang, gang. Wait, is your friend also? Do you have a friend coming? No. No. Okay, a lot of friends. Yo, I can call a few more lah. They're yeah, quite free now. Since we got a party going on here. Okay, so we've covered um gay shit. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. By the way, Fazan. What's con- up? Congrats on your new venture. Yeah, right? man. Nice one. I guess. Let me give you a rundown. Yeah. yeah. I left the government service quite a while back. Um, but. Eight months, nine months ago. Yeah. Who's checking audio? Now? Uh, no one <laughs> knows. <laughs> I'm the best employee. Right? Bro, listen. He's just story, bro. <laughs> this is the brown wife I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, man. Okay. Represent, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I left the government service about eight months ago. Things were getting quite hectic. Eight months ago only. Yeah. Um, I think y'all can read the news like how shit is basically. Yeah. 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 How long were you uh in the government hospital? Um, two and a half years. Were you also a contract staff? Yeah, right. I was a contract doctor. One of the contract doctors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and majority of my um, working period was throughout COVID, mm-hmm. right? So MCO hospital was overloaded, and um, they didn't basically because it was COVID. Yeah. My hospital didn't have any intake of new doctors for like almost a year. Oh shit! Right, or very little. So because of that, a lot of times we were like lacking manpower. Um, our, like our leaves were frozen. Mm. Couldn't take leave. We were like doing double, triple, uh, like on calls, yeah. night shift in a week. What, what was the reason you guys were lacking manpower? Um, because of COVID, um, they just didn't take in any more doctors. Like new ones, or new ones, okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah, or reduced number. Mm. Yeah, okay. For reasons I don't know what, but um, yeah. And then after COVID, things were still quite busy, and they were gonna shift me off to Pahang. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You but don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. It's your mandatory service and your contract. Did they say you. like how long or it's just? No, no, no. Nobody knows. I mean, my contract is two years anyway. Mm. So after two years, I don't. They really could just choose to like kick me out or ship me off somewhere else. I, I don't know. Did you have uh, long from your uh, long left on your contract? Yeah. It, oh, the moment I will get shipped off to Pang is another two, two years. years. Another mm. two years from the two that I already did. Right. Yeah. So what would you have? You couldn't picture yourself staying in Pahang. Uh, it's not that. It's just I didn't. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what's, what's when he said Pahang and then he's yeah. yeah. what's wrong with Bento? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with that? Oh, what's wrong? Don't pretend there's nothing wrong with chatting, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 club man. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't yeah. want to surf, man? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, there was nothing wrong with Pahang. I just didn't like going to a new place, not knowing what my future would have been because yeah. government is like that. You know, they don't know yeah. where you're gonna go off after that and mm. stuff like that. It's not worth to move to a whole new state if you don't know your future, right? So I just left. I left, um, went to private, did private GP, and now it's going to aesthetic. Mm. That's in as well. Dude, uh, something I want to ask about. So you often hear people tell me like they work in government hospital, right? Yeah. Their shifts go from like 40-hour shifts. So how does yeah. that work? So did you have to do that shit? Um, yeah. When I finished um, housemanship, so you become an MO. Your on-call means... Housemanship is sort of like internship. Mm, something uh, like that, but you are already working. It's not really an internship. It's more like a... Before you get... Yeah, before you go full on... Get your full license. Like. It's like a training they, mm. training period. Yeah. Time. Training. So, um, on-call, basically, you go to work at 8, right? Mm. And you would have finished at 5 if you were not on-call. But because you're on-call, you work throughout the night Next day, eight o'clock, you continue working till five again. So, wait, that's, that's, what, that's, what is that? Like, sorry, so eight to five. Eight to five, but you don't go back. You continue staying till the whole day. Next day, eight o'clock, and continue working till five. PM. Oh, the next day five, next which day is five. forty hours, uh. Uh, Yeah, around thirty six, forty. Yeah, yeah, around. But there. over the like at night, like, how do you guys rest? We don't. Um, uh, the thing is, it's impossible to sleep. Yeah, because we're gonna get a call every like ten minutes or so. Something happened. There's a new admission. There's a new patient at the emergency department. Um, you know, someone is can't breathe. Someone did. Someone's that. So, there's the rest is so like um segregated. Like the sleeps are so broken. Yeah. That you don't really have a proper rest. Mm. So, so we, most of the time we just don't even bother sleeping. So. So yeah. would you would you say like you've had like some colleagues that 
they they just couldn't take it. They just slept. Yeah, and then uh, they get fired. Like they um, just rested, lah. Like, no, like, no, no, no. I don't think I don't think anyone could ever sleep in that situation because yeah. your adrenaline is always pumping. Yeah. Right, you never know what's going to happen next. Someone's, um, you know, at one is someone's going to you know get into surgery. Yeah, the next minute someone's literally dying, and, and you know what I mean. There's no way you could just say like you know what I'm done. What type of um, what type of uh, like what doctor were you? Um, I was general. So yeah. meaning, I would rotate between departments. So I've done like gynae, I've done like orthopedics, I've done surgical, medical. And surgical? Are you the ones doing the surgery? Yeah, we would assist. Uh, we would assist, assist our, uh, not the head. Okay. No, no, obviously not. Because yeah, at that yeah. time when we were housemates, we were still in training, so we would assist in the surgery with our superiors, uh, whoever it was. You seem like you'd be a good gynae doctor. You have uh, a very like calming face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you need that. You need good uh, relationship. Did you with say your... gynae doctor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Did I you mean, start off with Gaini? I did actually. Oh, damn. Oh, you did? Damn, that was my fault, bro. Damn. 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 What's up, bro? Hey, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, interesting. But, but uh, you guys be surprised. Were they hot? So, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. anyway, yeah, what's that, that Gaini was the worst place to start. Things are, so, things are so hectic in Gaini because it's like life and death. Let's say you have a baby being born every like couple of minutes and oh, you know, yeah, yeah it's... High intensity, high adrenaline. Sort of. So I, I've, got, I've got a question for you, bro. Do all doctors enter this industry or this profession yeah. because they want to serve and help people, or that's not the case? Oh, you're jumping I think right you know into that, man. I think you know lah. Um, well, um, so what, what? What is it for you? For me, um, honestly, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, after SPM and shit, yeah, I think you're all the medicine. I mean, my parents were like, "Yeah, whatever. That's you know important. Not typical. Like your engineer, doctor. Like, Is there but, parents but for that me, would be against it? Sorry, uh, would there be parents against that? I no, don't I don't know, think. Right? I think they push yeah. more towards it. But for me, I didn't know what I want to do. So do something that I think was beneficial, or like will help people. Like, cause, yeah, yeah. You so now they jump. Think, yeah, they jump to aesthetics now. What's the story behind it? Um, I love surgery. Yeah, I fucking love surgery. Right. Um, I have good like manual mm. dexterity, hand eye coordination, that kind of thing. So. When I went to GP, um, it was nice. It was good because I think I have like good people skills and you know, um, sort of patients love when they can relate with the doctor and stuff like that. But I got itchy. My hands got itchy. I really wanted to do things like you know, like work on something. Yeah. Like you know, like you say, you tinker with your watch. I'm like that. I like <coughs> tinkering with things. I yeah. like. So the next best thing, obviously, because I left the government, the only path that I could take is aesthetics. Yeah. I could still do some procedures and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. So when it comes to aesthetics, what's the like the least evasive surgery you could do, and what's the maximum? What's it? What do you mean by evasive? That means like which requires the least cutting of someone's evasive, face. Evasive, so it's like okay. evasion. Uh, it's like okay, put it invasive. In this way. Uh, if you could work on Raj's face, what, would it, <laughs> what is the level of work that goes into What was the best you could do with my face, bro? Oh, what? Oh, okay, so I always say is what do you want? Can you make me look Korean? <laughs> is that what you want? I mean, it seems like Korean people earn a lot of money, so I don't mind. <laughs> is it is that possible or not bro? tough task um, of course it's possible can be done, can be done. What, what would you do probably not my clinic like. I think you would need to go Korea for that oh, the- <laughs> no, 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 like Korea is so advanced the plastic yeah, yeah. surgery is so advanced they can make anyone look like anyone do you kind of feel like you are you have the power to shape people's faces I, like guess, what, I guess I do yeah but it's not a power it's a service yeah. because at the end of the day yeah is what they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, you're like a legal shapeshifter. A legal. Something. I'm not a shapeshifter. Shapeshifter. A shapeshifter. I'm a legal. You're like a spy. You can change. You're like Mission Impossible. I'm not. I'm. I'm the one doing it. Yeah. I'm not the one receiving it. Nice. Yeah. Bro, bro, let me ask. Let me ask yeah. you, man. What's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You got a question, bro? <laughs> Wait. Do you guys know this? Uh, I've been watching this shit. Oh, sorry. You yeah. What's up, man? First? Ashraf, the one you did, with Ashraf. Yeah. That's that's what he was doing, dude. Trying to make things like awkward, it's funny. Who's your chef, right? Remember, I, I sent that shit in the in, in the, the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. So he did a podcast with that. Yeah, what's that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I like how you looked at him, but he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what was this, dude? I'm trying to do meeting my child, so I can't do it. Say this, bro. Yo, no, it's not. <laughs> it's like finger tapping. Yeah, you gotta start it off with some respect. And then you go meeting, meeting with, with watch us. What's oh. with the Indian accent? <laughs> Is it meeting? <laughs> meeting yeah, with watch us. I want to ask you, you know, yeah. actually, if you're not brown, you can't do the hand sign. I just wanted to put it out there. It's a bit yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, you're fine. You have a, you have a, you have the M pass, bro. 
The matcha pass. What and pass? Oh. It's the matcha pass. He earned it. Yeah. And he buy it, lah. Uh, it. Yeah, you can buy it though. Hey, dude, I got some. <laughs> You could, you could. Four hundred k, yeah. Same price as that. Uh, that uh, I think lifetime, you know how I know that's a lie. You said it on Ashraf's show. <laughs> what, what did I say? He said no copyright. Was it? We applied for it right after the oh, show. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know a lot of lawyers. I'm well connected. That is lawyer. Oh damn! Mm. Should make friends with him. Yeah. Another one. Another one. Another. Another one. one. Yeah. Do you like what kind of music do you listen to, bro? Um, all kinds. Of, yeah, to be honest, all kinds. Dapang <laughs> kutu. You know when people say what? You know when people say all kinds, right? You kind of think like, oh, they're not into music. Yeah. Uh, but no, I am into music. All kinds of music. Prove it. Just say one of it, like this. Okay. Wow, oh, I'm freezing so badly right now. Yeah, choking, right? Yeah. Because it would be so fucking gay if I sing her right now. Say it, bro, bro. Just go ahead. Say. No, 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 no. I start off for you. I start off for you. Yeah. Oh, I don't speak Chinese, bro. Yeah, same. I I know. Ni ni puya chang huai ma. Pu huai. Got it. Was that correct? Ni puya. You don't want to speak. No, no, pu. One. I must say he doesn't want to speak. Do one. Right. Do one. Ni huai chang huai ma. Pu huai. Yeah. Hmm. Banana. So Vishnu has made a few viral videos before. Yes. Um. What's your most viral video so far, bro? Viral on which platform? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a flex! Uh, no la. What a um, flex! No la. <laughs> you had a few la. So like, are you talking about recent viral? Anything, ones anything. Or, just, like, just, just. Do I know? Bro. Yeah. Let, uh, maybe let me know if I know some of them. I might. Okay. Know. I think well, it's the one we worked on last year, like for Merdeka yeah, and stuff. Yeah. The rap video. The rap video we yeah. did. Can you do some drop some bars? That was viral. No, I can't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like four. We have four million views oh, now. Shit. And I then saw that. I saw that. Yeah. A lot of. Politicians reached out to us. You know, because it was right before elections. Yeah. 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 And we were talking about the struggles that Indian people go through. Yeah. So we were good, like vote mules, lah. Yeah. God bless your souls, man. Yeah. yeah. It was totally random how we came up with the whole concept. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's all it's all Raj. So. No, no, it's not. It's <laughs> who who wrote it, dude? It was all of us. So I think four four of us were in the group. Mm. Uh, were in the video. So we just met up. We discussed the beats that we wanted to get. And everyone wrote their own verse, mm. and yeah, we just recorded it. So, y'all, y'all were saying right after that. Then uh, Sides, I did he, he, you guys up. Yeah, yeah that was uh, just <laughs> for yeah, that was around Deepa Ali. Yeah, he reached out to who you. He reached out to his uh, one of his guys in Muda. Reached out to Vika, mm. to Vika's manager, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then we met him at a hotel in Kuala Lumpur. It was just Vika and myself. We had a chat with him and his team, mm. and um, yeah, that. That's 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 basically what happened. Of course, we can't divulge too many details into into the meeting because you know it's like high it's level. High level. <laughs> he's not, he's not yeah, In my right. opinion, yeah. yeah, he's charismatic. Yeah, he's like he's like the Canadian Prime Minister. Damn, that's such a good like metaphor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like he's like he's exactly he has, he has Justin Trudeau. He has yeah, energy. What, what's the what's the guy's name? Trudeau. Justin Trudeau. 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 Yeah. He's yeah. young, right? Is it? Yeah. How old? Though? Not um, as young as I. Let me ask him later. Yeah. <laughs> you know him, right? You grew up together. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Back then, yeah. When I was in Canada, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's that's Vishnu. Yeah, rapper extraordinary. Not really. Like, you rap as well. Do I do. I do yeah. rap. Uh, drop some bars. Um, <laughs> you share some bars from that video, bro, because it hits deep, lah, bro. Some oh, like, bro, you had the best verse, lah. Nah, 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 okay, nah, you did, you did, nah, you did. Nah, nah, Mine was man. just like so normal. <laughs> This is Tujuh Blas Baris. Tujuh Blas, right? Yeah. Tujuh Blas Baris. <laughs> Yeah, Tertina. apa yang ku pertarungkan soalan di minda yang tarik kaum ku uh. ke bawah saudara uh. gua uh. India yeah. tak boleh lihat India berjaya <laughs> musuh dalam selimut berkeliaran merata. Mm. You know what that means? No. Yeah, you know what that means. It don't matter. What I say, you just flow. Yeah, when I go, I go freestyling from the top of my mind. All of us right here is yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fars out on the beat. <laughs> Aesthetics. Okay, Aesthetics. Whoa. Yo, shit, yeah, that's bro. crazy. Yeah, yeah, fire. Sign me, Joe Flizzo. I'm waiting, bro. You didn't call me for a number of bars. I'm offended slightly, but <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I applied for it. I didn't get a call back. You know. You're But you're on yeah. my two jewels, Barry. My brother, respect. This is what I call. It's one more Barry than his. Yes. And that extra Barry is you. Thank you, thank you. I, I like it's support. This is good yeah. support. It's good for my mental health. But, um, would you have supported me in the same way? For what? I, I don't know. Another Barry, two jewels. Yeah, yeah. Baris? I mean, 
I don't know, I was just wondering maybe you wouldn't I wouldn't get the same treatment. Uh I mean I, I don't wanna go there. Probably probably Lima Blas Baris, you would have been. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, damn. oh no, no, no. But but, no, I, I, but but like but like all uh, all jokes aside you, though. I no, got you. All jokes aside though, but even yeah. like an Amblas Baris, the caliber of rappers on there are mm. like crazy. Yeah. Like like you know you were saying like huh, as a joke that you didn't get called on, but I think you would have like <laughs> He would have. I would have yeah. been roasted. Nah, no, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I actually think like yeah. the, what the no, 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 no. You go. What, what I'm saying is, you would actually have a good chance. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm but saying. You see, I would get roasted. No, that's why I said no. Oh, so you're yeah, defending yeah. me? Okay, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah. He knows you for a long time. Yeah. Go on, go on. So he yeah, has to say that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like de- uh, demeaning you or anything. Sure. I'm, just, I'm just saying how good their level is. You know but, what I mean? But I'm, I'm quite good also, actually. Yeah, yeah it's true. I just, haven't seen it. It's just not my time. He calls himself a hip hop purist. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> okay, 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 so what that means <laughs> is. You don't make it as a hip hop artist, you become purist. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, I feel that hip hop has been bastardized. Because. This art form was created to share the struggle of people. Yep, yep. It is not supposed to be used as a tools by politicians. It's not supposed to be used to, I don't know, like like talk about shit that don't matter. Yeah. yeah. You, like sex, you, money. No, sex tricks. and money is all part of life. Like that's fine, you know, mm, but yeah. like, like it's got to be done tastefully, not just for the views. Because when you do hip hop just for the views, instead of telling a story, mm. then I feel like you- You'll get famous and richer. Yeah. Are you talking about like, the, like, like swipe? Like Alif no, swipe? No, swipe, swipe is fun. Yeah. So it's fun. Oh, 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 it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, cool. Aku what the time. No, but they were saying like uh, it's funny that you brought this up because I was watching a video today in the morning about ghostwriters. Okay. Do you know what ghostwriters? Yeah, I know what ghostwriters. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? I mean, no, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> no, no, no. I run my own lines. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Good, yeah but... So they they were saying like um, people are angry because in hip hop, it was just about people telling stories about their life and stuff. So when you have ghostwriters, it just doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah. I think it's all right to have a ghostwriter. Yeah, I mean, because Drake thinks it's fine, so. But yeah. do you think that you it's okay? And Drake is basically like God at this point. Yeah, six but, God to be yeah. exact. Six yeah. God. Do you think yeah. it's it's okay only once you've made it to a certain level, like Kevin Hart, right? <sighs> I mean, he says jokes, are, But like, I'm sure at the start he was writing it himself. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that, like, what if you just start off and then you've made it through? Like ghostwriter. Okay, I mean everybody needs a starting point, right? So a ghostwriter gets a lot of the heavy work done for an artist, and an artist or a stand-up comedian just comes in, tweaks in. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? right? It's entertainment. It's how it's always been. Yeah. Done. The important thing is you're entertaining people. You're yeah. earning money. Finish. Yeah, and people are entertained. Yeah. If you don't enjoy it, then don't listen to it, lah. Facts. All facts, no printer. I don't think there's anything wrong. It's just that like it really does take away from the talent because a, the whole a big part of how good the artist is, how he writes, it, right? No, or I mean, like a joke writer as well. Kind of subjective. Subjective now, life, now, la, yeah. But I kind of agree with what you're saying. Mm. It's like saying like, okay, you're running this podcast. Why aren't you the one behind the camera? Why aren't you the one monitoring the audio? You know what I'm saying? Because well, okay. it's the yeah, most. You, you, <laughs> no, but he's really literally shot on stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. What? you shot on stuff. Shot what? On stuff. Shot on stuff. Some stuff Did, do you have a viral video actually? Of what? On YouTube. No man. Oh, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the keyboard one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you mentioned it like yeah. five times. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what's, what's I, I want people about? to be like, like, whoa, like, 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 what's cause the you the... like you didn't want to mention which platform, right? right. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta, I'm gonna be like, straps on YouTube okay. specifically okay. only. Yeah. And what's the video about? Um, dude, it's awesome, man. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah. So I you got a mechanical why? keyboard about like twelve years ago. Okay. Mm. Thirteen years ago, back when mechanical keyboard wasn't such a thing. Yeah. Um and um. Yeah, one of the earliest mechanical keyboards. Like a, cherry, like a cherry blue type uh, keyboard. And um, I found it hard to take off the keycaps. I didn't buy a keycap puller. Mm. And like, I didn't want to buy a keycap puller. So I made a, a guide on how to remove keycaps without a keycap puller. And how did you do that? I got, how did I do that? Yeah. You got to watch the video. Like, Alas. Right. Like, <laughs> that's key, bro. Yeah, so like I would find like home, like whatever you have at home, like a ruler, there was like a credit card and there was um, a guitar pick. You know, not everyone has a guitar pick, but yeah, I wanted to like show that I played guitar, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Subtle flex. Yeah, Subtle yeah, flex. I like that. I appreciate yeah. that. Bro. Yeah. Did you do it shirtless? No, because the video was on the keyboard. Wait, there's no face, right? Like, there's no face, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. And how many views did that get? I got mil. That's mad. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Respect. Did you, was there a follow-up video? No. Oh, okay. I mean, Too easy, eh? No, like, keyboard, like, mechanical keyboards have become such a thing. Like, yeah. even if I did a follow-up video, it'd be like, nothing compared to the ones out there mm. but back then I, I did the only video of a guide on how to remove a keycap right. 
without a keyboard puller. Yeah. No mechanical keyboards are everywhere, bro. Yeah, it's everywhere, and yeah. like it's so there, there's a like a whole ass store. Yeah, Mecca. Just for, yeah, Mecca. Yeah, I have yeah. a twenty percent discount there. Just say my name, by the way, guys. Like full name? I uh, just say Raj Mahal. Raj Mahal. Wow, cool. <laughs> and then and then you go. Is the skirt included? In the, you go to the okay. counter. You look for Cheryl or Harry, and you tell them I'm Raj Mahal's friend. Sherry or Harold? Cheryl <laughs> or Harry? <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, that's good. I that's tried. Good. That's good. Um, that happens, ah, uh, dude. Fucking up words, so. Are there any other videos that you make on YouTube, like after that? For me? Or, yeah. Oh yeah. So I was um, I was big into videos back then. Right. <laughs> like I used to do freelance videos and stuff oh, for people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I love like uh, creating content. Okay. So hey, it's put why. This below it, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah shit, no, right. put it below it. Below it. I think this oh, might like kind of like block Raja's yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Traditional. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I used to like uh, love creating content. It's why Raja yeah. showing you the um, I'm, like the stupid videos yeah, that I used to yeah, make, right? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I loved making videos, creating videos, um, and editing like super sick travel videos and stuff like that. I okay. Just, super yeah. sick. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of some of it's really sick. It's freaking sick. <laughs> like 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 fever cool. sick or like fire sick. Like fire sick. Like Sam Calder level. Oh shit. damn! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Inferno yeah. shit. Yeah, no Sam Calder. What's it? Um, he's just like he's a singer, no. <laughs> oh shit! No, I'm sure he can bad. sing, lah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he yeah. can sing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, he's this re- like really good um travel okay. vlogger guy. So Vishnu likes. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, who does I Vishnu like? That. Who do you like? Okay, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I don't remember that story, I think it's a bit too sensitive. Wait, wait, which story is this? <laughs> wait, okay. who, who do you like, Vishnu? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, um, hypothetically, who do you like uh, if you didn't yeah, have a girlfriend? If you have a girlfriend, who would yeah. you like? Uh, other girls? <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, hey, yeah, I need some big yeah. Oh, no, man. <laughs> it's too oh, dangerous, bro. Pretend, pretend no, she doesn't have a girlfriend. Okay. Mm. So you can name anyone, including like, her friends and stuff. Okay. Because you're um, just pretending, right? Who does that fucked up with? <laughs> we just pretend. It's kind of fucked up, la. We're just pretending. Okay. Let's go with uh, Alice. She hot. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know, oh, <laughs> Yo, my girlfriend, bro. No, nah, bro. Like yeah, honestly, the saying the names now is gonna catch me a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. So, like, I that's think... a good answer, though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't sure. smart, though. <laughs> Thank you. What do you call that? I like your chain. It's called um, no, no. That's a that's a name for it. No, Cuban. Mor- Moroc- Cuban uh, I say Moroccan. Cuban link. Yeah. yeah. Good try. Cuban link chain. She has a Cuban link chain. What is that? It's respect. Some Scott. gangster shit. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit. Travis Scott. No, no. Uh, the baby. The baby. She's very into the culture. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I don't know the baby. I know Juice Wrld. Juice Wrld fans? No, not really. Nah. Rock Hampton. I know one song from him. Ah, I know Rock Hampton. Nah. What song? No, no. From, yeah. from uh, Juice Wrld. I know oh, one song. Oh, okay. Lucy yeah. Dream probably. Yeah. That's the most yeah. viral. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the one I, I love. Yeah. I, I, I love <laughs> kids, bro. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I actually me, have but... a project I'm working on mm-hmm. where I want to teach kids um, the art of hip hop and making music specifically. Oh, damn. Because I think it's very good for like child development oh yeah and, yeah, yeah and rap is a form of therapy that's why there's rap in therapy that's true and i want to bring that to young kids especially i used to be into music and i wish someone actually taught me i used to have um um what do you call it uh the ableton the the midi the keyboard mixer shit. no 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 um beat pad mm. oh the mm. yeah that one. no the tum, tum. yeah you can set um um whatever midi on each like pad and then just press it, it. Mm. i used to have it yeah then what happened um, th- time, 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 time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you were saying about um your idea for child development that yep. would boost child development in the uh, <laughs> starting starting out rapping at an early on. Not early not age. rapping, making music. Making Just music. Okay. Hip hop is the medium. Hip hop purist stuff. Yeah. Hip hop purist stuff. <laughs> Evangelist. <laughs> some might even say. You know, honestly, I I I just associate rap with hip hop, but that's not the case, right? Uh, no, rap is more of country music. <laughs> No, rap is a style. It's a genre. Bro, you guys are dumber than I expected. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm impressed, man. No, rap is a genre. I think hip hop is a whole ass culture. It's a movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. culture. Yeah, it's a whole ass culture. culture. Yeah. So under hip hop, yeah. there are actually many subdivisions. Rap is one of it. Uh, uh, graffiti is one other element of hip hop. Uh, B boy is another element, and there are a few stuff like skateboarding, yeah, grills, grills. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Fashion. 
You can ask you about some bling, aesthetic. Bling. Uh, can you ask Vishnu some questions? He's waiting to answer. No, no, no. Go ahead. I, like, I, like, no, like, I have a lot yeah. for Vishnu. Yeah. Oh, good. But we'll work on Fazan. I thought he's like a last minute edition. How do you like manage to gather so much on him in such a short? Yeah. yeah. No, to be honest, wasn't like, that last minute? So what? Two two hours? No, okay. Three okay. hours, four hours. There's a lot of time, huh? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. anyways, uh, let's start with Farzan first. Hit it. Yeah. So what's a... Uh, Are you eating the second one? Uh, yo, you guys okay with that, right? What is that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> There's only three! <laughs> no, it's more than three, la. There's three no, and a half. There's only three! <laughs> Isn't it just three? There's only three! Yeah, listen, it's a doggy dog world out here, okay? Yeah. The kids rapping. Yeah. That's what you're gonna teach kids, uh, steal other people's food and shit. I haven't started the podcast for Google. Right, right, okay. Um, talk when you're eating, all good. So I'm talking when I'm eating. ASMR shit. So ask Fazan your question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Fazan. <laughs> yep. Um, now that you're in this uh, brand new, you've got this brand new lease on life, right? Yeah. You're in the aesthetic industry now, right? Yeah. And we see all the time, um, there's a lot of cases of like, it's sometimes even just to the eye, right? We know that they went overboard with the amount of like aesthetic tre- uh, facial treatments they've done. Right, right. What would you say, right, um, is the a suitable or recommended age um, okay. for anyone? To I think start? that's a two-part um, answer to your question. The fact is, um, I think when some, you, you look at someone who goes overboard, um, most of the time, as uh, someone who's providing a service, right, mm. you just got to listen to your clients if that's what they want, that's what they want. I can't, I mean, I, mean, I can probably give them a bit of advice like hey this might not look so nice or this might look, not look so nice but at the end of the day if that's what they want right and, and they're paying for it so I, I wanted to, so the, the uh, another question I wanted to ask was like do you think any like responsibility should be placed on the doc, the aesthetic doctor like let's say if it's already damn obvious lah, okay she she been looking like Rosma for a long time huh? <laughs> I'm strong with the way she looks uh, she looks like it's shit, a vibe, bro. <laughs> it's, it's a vibe, though. It's a vibe. Vibe. Yeah. It's a Dutton vibes. It's a Dutton vibes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Imagine, yeah. like, not having to pay for a Halloween mask or something. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. From that perspective. You, you don't think that any responsibility should be no, placed of course, on that? of course there is. Of course there is. Right? Okay. But, again, like, we can only do so much and advise so much. At the end of the day, if it's something that they want and it's something that we can provide, you know. We, and they're we forcing it. the money down your throats, you're like, that's... <laughs> no, it's just too much. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. I mean, there's some shared responsibility as a practitioner to give the right advice and tell them the right things. But like I said, if that's what they think is beautiful and what, what looks good on them, you know, hey, who am I to say no? Yeah, that's true. So yeah. you're right to do whatever you want. Everyone go to Fazan's new clinic, um, Luminous. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Luminous Clinic at... Pavilion, okay. Level seven. Yeah, you'll be as good looking as him after treatment. Not even better. I've not done anything. Damn, natural. Yeah. Natural. Well. Damn, yeah. that's impressive. Why, dude? I'm sure everyone here is natural too. I've oh. done some. I've done some modifications. Where, where? Tattoos. Oh, that's. That's considered a modification, right? It's body mod. Body yeah, morph? Like body like mod. Body mod? Body M O D mod. Oh, body mod. Yeah, body yeah, mod. yeah, yeah. Like like cyberpunk shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Close. Would you guys implant Neuralink? Oh yeah, I saw about it. I, there's still some issues about it. Yeah. So no, probably not now yet. Mm. But like, hell, I'm down. You're down? Yeah, I'm down. You probably would, right? I'm, I'm a bit scared because I'm, I'm all about like the organic lifestyle shit. You know what I mean? Like, Are you vegan? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're vegan. Why? That's 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 interested. over my limit. I'm right. I'm I'm on that whole like keto like gluten. I know this is not a good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I saw that. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm on that no green shit. No green shit. No, yeah. I think the neural link is like silver. Oh, yeah. so it's not made of carbs. No. Oh, that's, that's it's like metal and stuff. I'm scared, lah. I'm, j- I'm just afraid that Elon Musk could hack my brain. I mean, there's a chance. Yeah, I yeah, do that. yeah probably, like, probably. Yeah. I don't think he'd find anything to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> my bars or my bars. Your right bars, right. Right. true, true, true. <laughs> bars, yeah. your, your your childhood rap idea. Do you do you, do you see Cyberpunk the anime? Oh yes, oh. Do you watch it? Brilliant. 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 So there's a part, there's a thing because like they implant um like cyber bio cybernetic mods to their body, right? So one of it is you can sort of like go to sleep or whatever, but you have like this dream, but that's like real. It's like a simulation. You're in a simulation. But the right. simulation is like the matrix of a company, some shit. Some shit, but like yeah. you can you can make it simple. So imagine Neuralink can do that, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you could be sleeping, but in, it's so real that you, you like in a... In the matrix. Not like you're skiing somewhere in the Alps. In the matrix. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it could give you like whole new experiences and learning. From a productivity perspective, if I can work while I sleep, that would be the biggest push for me to get it. Right. You know what I mean? Reproductivity. 
Did I say reproductivity? I heard that. I said productivity. <laughs> uh, maybe I wanted to hear that. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> so what is is Neuralink? The Elon Musk. Yeah, so it's um uh, implantable chip in your brain that basically like increases part of your like brain capacity and like basically adds function. It's like the, a, it's like a DLC to your brain. Uh. Nice. What's yeah. DLC? Downloadable Down. content. Like on oh. PS, bro. Like. If you're playing a game, oh, you can okay, download okay. stuff. Okay, DLCs. you can download. Oh, you can. It's like an update, lah. But yeah. basically, implants a chip. Mm. Adds like way more functionality to your brain. But is that launched? There? It's it's not right. No, not it's yet. like it's in a clinical trial. Imagine if I can look at you and I can know everything about you yeah. through my eyes. Like oh, you, know, you don't even have to look. You already knew it. Yeah, just because he planted some shit inside. Probably, probably. Damn. Yeah. He downloaded some content. Yeah. Yeah. Some information. Yeah. Like a database. That's quite crazy. You think that's just is. It's quite very recent. Like it's not long from now that that shit's gonna no. be out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're also resurrecting woolly mammoths. That's a oh, thing that's happening. That. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Right? yeah. Um. No, no. He said he said something like the next year. The the dude was saying like within the next year they're gonna um clone yeah clone uh, uh woolly mammoths yeah. right. Because the 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 woolly mammoth is like about what eighty six percent similar to this kind of Asian elephant. I thought you were gonna say human. I was like, what? Oh, that's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> so all they have to do is a hair transplant and you get a woolly mammoth. You know, if you think about Badly, it. Technically, yeah. yeah. Brown hair, la. Brown hair. Yeah. Remember we learned about that uh that yeah. the the clone the first cloned animal. Dolly the sheep. Yeah, yeah. Dolly the sheep. Yeah. 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 Man. In in high school, you, I think they they definitely they taught that in the syllables. Right. First ever animal that was cloned successfully. Dolly. It, maybe it's not that successful. I, I mean, after that, she probably. Okay, I was in it. arts lah, bro. So I have no idea if this was <laughs> taught in taught in like science or you, something. But definitely science. I I I'm sorry. I asked a very stupid question. Yeah, that, that, dude, that was that was judgmental. Dude. How yeah, you assume how you... I was in science? <laughs> you have. <laughs> <laughs> Your point. Uh, no point. Okay. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Raj, you don't seem like the science kind of guy. Um, I did sub science, so our arrangement is quite actually. Mm. What sub science. Sub science it's like a branch of like submarines. Uh, egg, well, damn, you know about that too. Yeah, Shit, I, I wanted to get into it, but I did. I did a unit on like submachine guns as well. What a unit, bro. Yeah, what, what a, a unit, unit. like G unit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's he? Who's he? Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why you do the bra bra from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> from school. It's from my childhood, bro. Yeah. 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 Machine guns. I, I get, get a subway course also. Mm. The trades and the mm. sandwich. Ah, yeah. shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. They call only a double degree, lah. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Majored in many subjects. Yeah, yeah. That's what they you say. You ever get into any fights growing up? Oh, tons. Huh? Yeah, tell some of your fight stories, bro. Yeah, a few yeah. times, like, in Taman C, lah, bro. Oh, my God. It was like. I wouldn't want to get beaten up by you though. No, bro. I I used to get beaten up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why why is everyone laughing? <laughs> hey, you deserve it, so yeah. hey, you deserve it in school itself. Okay, you... okay, so I talk my way out of fights. I talk oh, my way out of fights. You're kind of that, that sleek. Like, I'm that sleazy weasel. That's what they yeah, call yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Weasel, yeah. That's my street name. Dumbass. Yeah. Because <laughs> you see, the first rule of self defense is to run. That's the smartest thing that you can do. Yes, correct. Isn't that evading, not self defense? No, it's self. Anyway, yeah, it's anyway. not cool, you know. Like yeah, I do self defense. What do yeah. I do? I run, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because if you hit someone, yeah, yeah, you might be safe, but then you get a lawsuit. Yeah, and you did agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are no lawsuits in school, la, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, you heard of juvenile before? Okay, lah. So, enough. so what happened? Huh? Like you got beaten up. Did you deserve it, or did you provoke someone? No, I think it was like a bullying thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go there, man. Yeah, fuck bullying, man. How's the tra the traumas hold holding up? I mean, traumas. I mean, it's it's not there anymore. I think like a few years ago. Liar! Yeah. No, really. Dude. Okay, like, yeah, was one of the the guys who bullied me like in secondary school. I think he like passed away and shit. Oh, nice. uh, so like no jokes yeah, on him. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like, although I didn't physically do anything, so. <laughs> But yeah, that's just how, like how was the bullying? Of... Physical or verbal? Oh, both, bro. Yeah. What would they say? What would, what would they say? I mean, I can't really recall to be honest, lah. But it was a lot of like, hey, fucker, physical. It's actually quite bad. Yeah. So just, so just imagine, like, I'm just like walking, like, in recess. Some fucker just grabs you by the collar and it's like, hey, give me all your fucking money. Oh, dude, shit, that's like literally. So that. my school yeah. seems like a heaven compared to that, yeah. bro. It's like, oh, dude, that's bad, man. That's like yeah. mugging. You know? Yeah, dude. Like, so. Hey, like aren't horrible. you in the? Oh yeah, you were in the same yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. So, so did this happen to you as well? No, no. The collar pulling and shit. No, no. I was. Yeah. I I, I maintained peace with everyone, lah. 
What yeah. did you offer You're them? Like Captain Planet, uh. blow job, <laughs> blow job, <laughs> probably. <laughs> 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 okay. Don't disturb me, I suck your dick. <laughs> Because we are finger your asshole, man. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, there's one finger there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's self defense. It's like, like he said, it's self defense. But you can't run your fingers off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, Vishnu. Yeah. Okay, lots of questions for you. Uh. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, how did you feel uh, every day? Oh, bro. Oh, it happened every, often? Yeah, I would say like one. Okay, last. Like, two or three times a week, there was a point where I just didn't want to go to school because of these guys. It's nothing to do with studies yeah. and stuff like that until uh, I just kind of learned to like stand up for myself. So, oh, you yeah. did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see you were sitting down, is it? Yeah. <laughs> In a way, I saw it coming. <laughs> yeah. I saw it coming. <laughs> Pretty much, la. so yeah. No, no, but, but I get it, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. On jokes aside, I get it. it, yeah. it the, the whole, like, um, being fucking scared to go to school Yeah, yeah. is, um, yeah. It's tough, uh, it's tough. Yeah. And the thing is, parents would never understand. Yeah. Would, so you gotta like, pretend like you're sick or some yeah. shit, right? Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, you just have to tell your teacher. I was yeah. like, yo, yeah, yo. <laughs> but did you skip school? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. So what do you tell times. your parents? They didn't, I didn't tell them I skipped school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how did you go to CC? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I'm going to CC and stuff yeah, like that. Isn't that, that like standard for everyone? Skip school, yeah. go CC. <laughs> like, go malls, you get caught 100%. 100%. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Just change your clothes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. The stupidest thing is like skipping school and staying in school clothes. Yeah, yeah. That's the Those dumbest. are the dumbest yeah. things. My, my Chegu discipline used to make rounds at a cyber cafe and at the mall nearby and at a 7-Eleven oh, used smart, to dude. hunt. Yeah. Mm, the usual watering holes. You know. Chegu Zul. Got a few lah. He'll take turns. <laughs> wait, wait. Shout out Chegu Zul. Yeah. <laughs> wait, uh, yeah, Vishnu. So you got bullied badly and then how did you stand up for yourself? I think at just one point, like it, it just reached a tipping point. Like, so yeah, I just yeah. like, whacked the guy up. You whacked the guy? Yes! <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so how, how was uh, how was it, uh, the experience? I mean, after that, like at least I knew like nothing was going to happen after that. Was it that, one-on-one? So. Did you Yeah, yeah, yeah well, it was a one-on-one. Like, did I, you take any shots back? Yeah, I think it was just a back and forth. It's not like a... like. It wasn't like like we knew how to fight. Like to be honest, no, I know, I know. Stupid. <laughs> it was like this, like that. So who who but you won? Obviously, uh. I, I don't know. The people around me said I did, lah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like quite happy. So like, it, it never that. happened ever again. No, after that, not really, lah. Like, no. Okay. Yeah, so I was just like minding my own business after that. So. Yeah, because bullies want an easy target, right? Yeah. Hey, but good for you for standing up, blah blah. I respect that. Yeah. Of course, man. Yeah. Dude, um, uh, to be honest, I was on the other end before. Yeah. Like um. Oh, I never told you shit before, lah. But then, uh, oh Ben, the the dude I do the the podcast with, right? Right. We got in trouble also in school for bullying this kid. Okay. We were in form three. Right, right. So this kid, it was mostly verbal, always verbal. Okay. Right. Okay. We called him gay boy. That was okay. Holy shit! This sounds so fucking bad. Right? Yeah. It is bad. It yeah. is fucking bad. Okay. This was back then. I I did feel bad, of course, even during that time. I'm never the type to bully someone. I, I just can't uh, bully la, unless I mm-hmm. know that I'm joking with that dude or what. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, um, maybe there was like four or five of us. We will always call him gay boy, gay boy, gay boy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, sometimes throw shit at him in class. Mm-hmm. Um, I, one time we got physical. Mm-hmm. So I think that's when it escalated for him. And we, we were at the basketball court or something. And then Ben grabbed him by the neck, mm-hmm. you know. And he's a Ben is a small skinny dude, mm-hmm. right? That guy is even smaller than him, mm-hmm. or same size. Right. So yeah, Ben, would you would you expect this from no, Ben? No, yeah, because I know Ben personally. Yeah, you never expect this, and right? he, Yeah, and he's small as well. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, like if you are if you are small, right? Um, you also feel that that you you've been bullied many times yeah, in your life. Yeah, I I know Ben has been bullied also. So yeah, so he was just you know releasing it on someone yeah. else, uh. So. The next few days, you know, um, he didn't come to school. Right. And then we went for a field trip. I think that maybe it's the next day we went for a field trip. He didn't go for the field trip, right? And he, he paid for it already. He's supposed to go. So he didn't show up. And the day the day after that, the mom came to school and had a chat with all of us. Uh. Yeah. So we went to the discipline room and yeah, we had to change our ways, right. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And not, not, not thinking back, right? I, I never even really said sorry, man. It's yeah. so bad, dude. Right, in, in fact, right. right, I I kind of talked to him when I talked to him right after it happened. I kind of told him something that was kind of stupid, uh. I said like, 
uh, what like you didn't have to go through all this trouble. You know, this part of life you have to you it toughens you. I say shit like that, yeah, and I think back. Yeah. I okay, maybe if there even that if there was sense in what I was saying, it's kind of stupid, man. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like because I wouldn't know. I wasn't actually. I do. I would have known. I I also have been bullied in right, primary school, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. But I don't know. During that time, I. I felt like I had to tell him like, "Hey, man, this is nothing, you know, just chill out." Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, we all were kids like, at one point. Like, yeah, you know, we don't think but so. it's never too late to reach out and apologize if you want to, like, You know, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go on a happier topic. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's, let's, let's talk go. about oh, something. Happy. Let's talk something happier. Let's talk about something better. Okay. Mm. Um, like, I like some, that. you know, like a role model and stuff. Andrew Tate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that's not> good. <laughs> I'm sure you've done plenty of this on your. Oh um, yeah, yeah, duh. I suck his dick every day, bro. <laughs> yeah. So have you broken through the matrix? Uh, no, that's why I still watch his content. Learning. Nice. But yeah. he's, in, he's in jail now, right? Yeah. But how's he tweeting though? Does he have like a I mean, he's tweeting. I was, telling, I was telling someone the other day, it's like how Najib is still tweeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sure he has a... Um, yeah, how's you know, Najib tweeting? I'm sure all of them have like some someone managing their account. Sure, Najib's yeah, not yeah, even in jail. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> yeah. So do you like Andrew Tate? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I do. I do like him. Do you think and, you're an yeah. alpha male or a sigma male? I, I I would love to be alpha, but mm. I feel like I'm not. <laughs> yeah, mm. but on, honestly, dude, there's plenty of people that they agree with what Andrew Tate says, but they won't say it out loud. Yeah, but why do you think people hate Andrew Tate? It's clear. <laughs> okay, well, that's true. There's not people, uh. Okay, <laughs> let's just say it's why um, females hate Andrew Tate. Yeah, and no doubt he does portray a, a bit of a mis- misogynistic yeah. vibe. Yeah, and and he did say this. He did. Uh, say in a really long interview once that like um, with the stuff you see on Instagram it's just like snippets of my yeah, really long yeah. um, content or, or video interviews and it gets taken out of context for me it's like but you still said it though yeah. you know what I mean but it's true if you do actually watch his full content like those one hour interviews and stuff you get to see what he's trying to trying to say yeah. And a lot of it is uh, he's actually trying to prove something good, prove a point, but he says it in a very misogynistic very, way. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. Yeah. yeah. Raj is a huge fan. Of to- of- I <laughs> wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. Because you work at Hits. Very, um, he has very good marketing and personal branding. He does. He does, he right? Does. It's, a, it's an online persona. Yeah. And he's doing it really well. Y'all are just getting, you know, y'all are just getting triggered over someone creating an online persona yeah. you know what I mean yeah yeah. it's like he's making a lot of money from it all you're doing is just getting sad and, and yeah. thing, you know no, like, I, I kind of you re- have to consume his content yeah I, yeah I kind of related this to also uh, Puyi right Miss mm. Puyi so be, be, because people are often looking down at her of what she's doing to make money but for, for me right personally I don't see any of that I only see what hard you work see? I see su- successful hard work driven that's, that's all, all I see, see. Yeah, nothing else, bro. From Pui. Yes, nothing else. Mm, it's good. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. I did not subscribe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yeah, she she's actually giving out scholarships. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah. So, then the 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 question is is asked. You know whether. Yeah, sure. She is transitioning now to not doing OnlyFans. She's only doing DJ. Yeah. And she's giving out scholarships. Yeah. But she wouldn't be doing this right now. She hasn't done all that before you know like that which has put her in the position that she mm-hmm. is in uh, right now yep yep um i still find it hard to i i don't i for me personally i just don't see anything because what she is doing right it's not like you're doing something illegal yeah. there's literally nothing illegal no, I, think, sure, I think what yeah. she's doing is illegal in this in this country, country yeah this country yeah. yeah how is she not in jail then if she's not in jail then it's legal huh? Well, she has good it's lawyers, I guess. Yeah, she's probably good lawyers. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's like a it's like a two way thing because if you catch her, yeah. it just means you consume her content, and it's like, hey, isn't it wrong to consume mm, this? Yeah, so, <laughs> you, well, I don't know. Man, I'm not a lawyer. He, he's one. Why don't you ask him? Is when you say it's not legal, you mean porn like in general? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh. I mean, yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, no one watches porn, anyways. Am I wrong? Yeah, who watches porn? Is porn is porn illegal right, in right? the country? It's creating yeah. porn and who distributing porn. <laughs> Distributing porn, yes. Mm. Creating porn. Is is putting it on only OnlyFans creating accounted as like distributing it? Yeah. It what is. about consuming porn? It is. Is it illegal? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank God we're not involved in yeah. any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a firm believer no, no, no. of the no fat movement. No fat movement. It has changed my life. Why why so? Because you see like semen for a man. Yes. It's a form of energy. And when you release it without a proper purpose, you are letting out energy from your body, which is stopping you Unless from you achieving. Unless you consume it. 
<laughs> Damn! I haven't thought about that before, though, bro. Like, just go around consuming everybody. You see, man. That's like so hard, dude. Bro, bro. I went to the gym once. Uh, yeah. For that. Okay. One guy came up to me. He told me the exact same thing you did. So he offered he this. Told, no, he told me. I, he fucking be, I have fucking beaten myself for, for 40 years. Like, beat yeah. the, the meat, fuck? right? You beat the meat. Okay. He told me the exact same thing you told me. I Every time I beat my meat, fucking felt so uh, like, like weak weak yeah. oh, weak but I didn't beat my weight for fucking a week yeah so much energy yeah did he like, offer you his like uh, I, mean, I was like energy juice I was like in the, in the gym bro why are you telling me this what yeah <laughs> it's a bit yeah I'm gonna give you some energy <laughs> la <laughs> <laughs> no, whey protein <laughs> no no but, but he's uh, energy I, milk uh, anorexic buff anorexic oh buff lean la lean anorexic yeah. <laughs> I've never heard uh, <laughs> Another <laughs> time for lean <laughs> Buff anorexic yeah, That's me la <laughs> What are you laughing? <laughs> hey, come fetch him <laughs> Nowadays you can, you can actually You know like I think I read somewhere mm. If you body shame someone yeah. you, That victim can yeah. sue someone for 50k That's what I read yeah. hey, Dude, you know what you should do? You should set him up To say like something Body shaming about you and then <laughs> um, I have a question for you. Yeah. Is it is it possible to be fat and healthy? <laughs> well, why are you asking him no. that? I, I no. don't specifically ask him <laughs> that. <laughs> Someone who is experienced. <laughs> Lawyer! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Experience! <laughs> Hashtag cancel okay. this podcast. <laughs> but honestly, I can say, like, I don't think you can be healthy at the same time as if you're in my size because yeah. like when I was actually thin I was in one point of right. time yeah. yeah I think are you sure? In, yeah <laughs> for real no, it was, it like, was. like in 2010 like after school and all that until like 2016 like after I left okay so I used to weigh like 120 which I probably weigh now this was like during uh-huh. school time then you lost it got, in, got into like college got to like 82 that was like the lowest i oh, got that's a fuck ton of weight dude <laughs> yeah, dude so uh, what was your motivation or uh, is girls dude it's just help bro it's like i could feel like when i sleep waking up like with chest pains and all yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. so like i had to do that la. so i i don't think like you know there's gonna be some issue with me like if i do a medical checkup now although i don't feel it dude, but um, uh, I I mean you see a lot of uh, body positivity shit right that's bullshit yeah. bro, I, bro this, this, <laughs> dude listen man that's I'm all for that people being happy and shit yeah but when you're putting out fake facts like yeah you can be fat and healthy like, yeah no man that's not yeah. true you're lying yeah. you're lying to people just because you don't feel something like you feel yeah. like your body's okay take a fucking test and then you'll know what's wrong with you yeah you know? uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you guys watch those videos of like uh people trying to what do you call it? Fat, fat acceptance uh, video song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, they're just asking her, okay, is this girl who's obese? Right? Yeah. And ask her, like, um, do you consider yourself healthy? And then she says something like, yeah, I swim about uh, 10 kilometers every day. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was the joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did, did she really swim 10 kilometers every day? Do you think it's possible? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She wouldn't be in that position. Who are the fattiest? I mean, fattiest. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing the meat, you know. Yeah, fattiest. Yeah. <laughs> Who are the fattiest people we know? <laughs> the, the thing is, right, it's so... No, like, a lot of guys, yeah. right, are yeah. so cool with making these type of jokes. Yeah. But when... um, I would never dare to make these type of jokes. Or if even, I women. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even dare to mention it. Well, I think, like, women always... Not always, sorry. My bad. I gotta... I feel like I have to be politically correct. You don't have to be, dude. You don't have to be, dude. Fuck that. (laughs) Raj is not like, can we end the podcast? (laughs) I'm getting cancelled. It's because they get so much shit all the time. Yeah. Um, From like people, from online, from other men, or even from other women. And, and, you know, the shit that they receive is way more than us guys. Let's be real. You know, they get shit online. Yeah. So, because of that, I would understand why they're a bit more on edge or a bit more sensitive to these things. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, 
as guys, I don't think we ever get like online comments like, ha, ah, you fat or like, can you cover up? You look like shit or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Red, it's red, red, it's red, it's red. You get yeah. that shit from your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah we get it from our friends. friends yeah. yeah. And it's just a joke or whatever, but we don't get random strangers coming yeah. and yeah. that. But like girls, you know, like they do nothing. They just put up a, a picture online and they get like body shame. Yeah. Like, shit. I think they do. They do get that comment. Like, like people calling a fat guy fat. The reason why they don't do it is probably because they can see that that guy, um, doesn't take it too seriously and yeah. maybe they, they thought that oh, it doesn't even hurt him anyways like mm. what are comments comments is people trying to hurt you right yeah or say shit that just to have just fun, to fuck with you yeah but yeah but the thing is like you think it's a joke but how far can you take yeah. that joke you know yeah. before it starts to hurt someone yeah. but and it's only okay for i mean my opinion for your friends to joke with you not any tom dick and harry to say the same thing a friend would tell me you know what i mean like fuck you you know what i'm saying like figuratively not really literally. not really yeah, no yeah. unless that, you're playing gay chicken unless you're playing gay chicken yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it's 24-7 <laughs> no it depends uh. dude I, what, what I noticed is like people who were fat before and then they've lost it they, are, they were ne- most of the time right or you okay? yeah I'm fine because I heard you sighing yeah I was just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just checking out my friend thank you appreciate that yeah. Yeah. most of the time they, they would never be they would never be for those like uh, body positivity uh, movements because they've been through it they understand they, they understand yeah. dude. they know it's not healthy yeah, well, yeah. I, I mean I've, I've got a, a close friend he told me like um, during he was he was pretty fat lah, uh, throughout his primary school secondary school and they tell me that teachers in school also like tell him in front of all the students like you see you're so fat that's why you're so dumb you know and then <laughs> <laughs> No, he's <laughs> mad. He's mad. I'm sorry, Lin. Oh, you laugh, bro. <laughs> it's cool if he laughs. I'm sure they don't say this in sub science. No, they do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, Raj. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what was that response? <laughs> Yo, t- um, tell me about uh meeting with Macha. So. Okay. What? What? Okay, what do you want to know? That's your your. I would say first big break. Yeah. Big video. How do you guys like actually uh, know each other? Um, four I, of y'all, right? It started with four. Uh, four, four, five. four. Initially, four, four. Then got to five. Yeah. Um, I was nineteen years old. Just got out of a breakup, and two weeks later, I tore my ACL. So yeah. it was a pretty down moment for me, lah. Yeah. And I had nothing to do after my operation, but what? But just watch Naruto. Literally from season one, episode one, all the all way to the, Shippuden, yeah, yeah. all yeah. the way to the Great Shinobi War, like the whole thing. And I was also watching a lot of YouTube and I got really inspired inspired to start a YouTube channel. I, I'm surprised you didn't say you were inspired to become Naruto or something. Oh, that, that, that did happen. That happened, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. I still, have, I still have a Shinobi. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I don't... I made a couple of videos and then this dude called Vika right. saw my stuff and he told Harvind, who wanted to start meeting with Machas back then, he was like, hey, dude, I think if you're starting the show, you should get this other dude who's a YouTuber to be on it. Yeah, yeah. So we all went for lunch at this banana leaf rice place in Puchong. And yeah, that's how we started the show. Dude, that, that time, right? Because I'm not familiar. But did uh, Harvind have a following? Yeah. He already had a, yeah. a decent he had a, following. He had a following quite early on, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because when I when I got back from uh, Melbourne right and then I I got back 2020 then I started doing podcasts so I generally don't consume local content because uh, so you're too good for it mm. uh, no I I just prefer have different preference ah, I see, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, like okay. yourself okay. Uh. not patriotic <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay yeah then um, then I, when I got into uh, like just finding out about more of local content shit right I I saw Skin TV, mm. right? Harvin's uh, YouTube channel, and that was the first guy that I actually felt like, oh fuck, I love, I I liked his content, mm-hmm. right? A lot of other uh, local content, maybe I can't really relate, but I I love this shit, man. It was mm-hmm. it's f- fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I didn't even know that like, he was your your housemate. Yeah, we were Remember living when, when we when when you came here that time and, and chill. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, we were I staying. I was staying there at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't realize, dude. Yeah, after was, a few months, they tell like what? I was staying with him for about a year. Yeah. yeah. Mm. How do you like that experience? <laughs> <laughs> you were there. <laughs> this one I want to hear. Quite a few times. Yeah. So he knows, yeah. Uh, the house volume, like average volume, increased lah. Yeah. Yeah. You know what like, I mean. Yeah. The amount of decibels I received that year, yeah. on average, like increased <laughs> yeah. in my, you know, system. <laughs> uh, but it was fun because there was always like things happening at home. There was always right. people over. Um, with my friends or his friends, you know, yeah. and. So we have a lot of mutual friends yeah. so it was like you know just meeting my friends and- 
you, you, you think like the meeting with Machas, right? So, you guys managed to get quite a big audience, right, for a meeting with Machas. Do yep. you, are, are, how many percent of them would you say is uh, local Malaysians? All the 90, 95 90 percent? Yeah. Big bunch, yeah, big, huge. Singaporeans as well. Um, Singaporeans, about yeah. That, yeah. Okay, because I, I, was, I was thinking like, does Harvin have uh, audience from India? No. I would assume maybe some. <laughs> maybe some, he's Indian, yeah. last I checked. But, but, so, yeah. yeah. uh, but not many, uh, probably. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But dude, honestly, when I watched meeting with Machas, right, I wouldn't have known that y'all didn't know each other before. Yeah, the first episode was the first time I met most of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and the synergy was there. It's fucking funny. Yeah, dude. It's the brown vibe things, you know. It's yeah. like right now, you know, I've never had a proper conversation with Farzan before, but... Yeah. When was the first time we met? Was it walking down the shopping mall and then you're like, hey, what's up, bro? But we didn't <laughs> chat from even before that. From Instagram code. Instagram is I it? think he just randomly yeah, commented yeah, yeah. shit. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, I met him one day. He was just walking down... Um, the place where I work my clinic. Yeah. It's just, where were you going? I just finished a shoot, bro. Right, right, yeah. right. It was in DC Mall. Yeah. That's funny. That was the first fun. time we met. We've had like, conversations online, but never in, in yeah. person. Yeah. And and I, I, I knew it was you. Right. Once I got off the escalator, I wanted to say hi, but you said hi first. Yeah. Then I think from that moment on, I was like, I'm okay, respect. Though, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, who, who slid in first, though? We stayed at the same time, yeah, literally. Yeah, we said yeah. hi whoop, at the same time. Yeah. No way, <laughs> la. For, for <laughs> real? You go to it. In like one millisecond. Yeah, one millisecond. I let you. But why? Why? There has to be a reason why you all suddenly slide in at the same time. Should there be a reason to say hi to a random stranger? Or at not? the same time? One millisecond different. No, I think the moment I turned, he kind of knew already it was me. I mean, it's funny. So, of course, you got to show some respect for brother. And the comedians know? recognize comedians. Uh, the real ones. Like. Real ones, yeah. 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 That's yeah. why I haven't liked a lot of would you, uh, would you do a stand-up gig? I think I would. I would fucking love to. You know what I mean? Um, do it, bro. It's a uh, nerve-wracking. I think it's just, yeah, that is what I'm scared of, the, the nerve-wracking experience. Yeah, nerve-wracking, but um, if you can make people laugh, yeah. that's, uh, as most comics would say, uh, it's a drug, man, that they can't yeah. get. I think I think what I like about my sense of humor is a lot of things is, is spontaneous and on the spot. Mm. So I'm worried that when I'm placed in that kind of like open mic environment, mm. you know, there's nothing to come up with on the spot. You know what I mean? Because it's just you talking. No one else is chiming in. So I'm scared. Huh? But but there's a lot of comics also like the really good ones, right? That's what they're really good at. Making, on the spot yeah, stuff. On the, yeah, on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Also at the same time, there's comics that they write everything 95%, right? To a T. So there's, there's no... Ex- exact guideline black and white of how to I guess there's no tutorial right in, yeah of, of obviously, obviously everyone has a different style you know who's my favourite comedian who and I'm gonna ask each, and, each one of you yeah. la. Bo Burnham not too know, familiar with this one he's on, he's on Netflix South, Southern accent right and he can do a Southern accent is it oh. yeah, yeah. And he is like, he British no he's American right he's American yeah, Bo yeah. Burnham do you you know who's Bo Burnham uh, I, yeah. I know Bo, Bo you, Burnham you watch it and it will change your mind about like comedy and stuff because he's a musician as well right yeah, so you know, there's a lot of music involved in his um, stand up stuff. Yeah, I made, him watch, <laughs> I, I made him watch two Bo Burnham shows. Yeah, I mean, two, two movies of it. Damn, yeah, it was on Netflix, but it's yeah. good, it's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's good. good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. you, Raj? Um, I grew up watching Russell Peters. Yeah. Uh, um, classic. He was yeah. just here a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he was, and uh, you know, I, I like his enthusiasm, his charisma, and uh, you know, a nice collection of stories from across the world. So I, I really relate to that. Also because he's like, like, he's like Indian, you know, like, so there's some connection there. I look up to Kevin Hart yeah. from a marketing and a business perspective. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From a stand-up comedian to an entrepreneur across like a thousand different yeah, industries. Like actor and, and actor, business and whatever. company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Rap, he was into music, yeah, to yeah. a chocolate dropper or something yeah. like that. Do you think Russell Peters jokes, um, where he makes like racial jokes, are getting a bit too old? Like, you know, like he just, it's always, Russell Peters is always racial jokes. Yeah. And, and it's just that. So, you know what I mean? I get what you mean. Yeah. I think it's a very solid branding for him. True. And of course, there's an element of nostalgia as well, so I might be a bit biased. Fair. Um, and of course, at the end of the day, you can't please everyone, lah. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah. I, I I personally enjoy it, lah. Okay. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. But imagine if you are the comedian, um, itself, right? And then you're performing. Do you wanna like say, tell like if you if you wanna talk about your old jokes, right? You use old material. A lot of I'm sure he also still uses old material, or maybe the the new material he uses also are pretty much the same, like racial stereotypes. Mm-hmm. The people that the audience that he's garnered right from the yeah. start, they are there to see those type of That's jokes. True. That's yeah. true. If I don't like, why am I consuming it? Right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. So if they come and see your show, right, and you don't tell those type of jokes, 
you might have disappointed uh, fans and maybe you don't want to risk that. You know? Love that, love that. Yeah. And, and like what uh, Rizal told me, like, Rizal Van Gezel, he said that Russell Peters was the first comic to put Asian stand-up comedians mm-hmm. on the mark, on the map. Yeah. Right? Um, who else comes to mind when you think about Asian stand-up comics? Like in recent times? Sure. I mean, a lot of names pop up but whether I think they're like oh, legit... Uh, yeah, Ashraf Kamal. <laughs> Ashraf Kamal. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Bobby Lee. <laughs> I like Prakash Daniel. He's good. Uh, I watched him live. Yeah, Fucking I think good, he's though. him and Kiran Bala Devan. I used to play Dungeons and Dragons with him like many years ago. Kiran? Uh, yeah, Kiran. Yeah. Why? Why? Because it's come on, we're nerds, bro. We're geeks. We. You why he was playing a game? <laughs> I, I mean, how um, just randomly met online? Oh, wait, is Dungeons and Dragons in person? In person. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. It's like they're gonna get into the character, you know. Can like, you do an accent now? Like, no, no. no. Come on, no, just, dude, you're like, serious about that, uh? yeah. I am Kokomoto. I cast fireball. That's a third one right now. Yeah, and then you do this. Yeah, like, I can't tell you're serious or not. Do I look like I'm joking? Every Monday night at Atria, we used to play the four of us. I was an orc. <laughs> Kiron was like an elf ranger. My other friend was a tabaxi. That's like a female cat. And then his other guy was a warlock. And then we had a dungeon master called Graham. And we played every Monday night. And then you all release each other's energy. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's called mana, okay? Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Honestly, though, would you guys come and watch me if I if I do stand up? Yeah, so, for bro. sure, bro. Trying to be something different, you know, like yeah. the first actual funny doctor turn coming up. I mean, um, <laughs> 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 what's the joke in that? Sorry, yeah, no, that's no, 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 no joke in that. <laughs> that's good. That's all right. Yeah, it was so real that it was funny. Okay, yeah. Fair. Dude, the, I got the first, fight. the first, I don't know, ten times that I did it, right? I never wanted people to come, man. I only got my friends to come because it helped crack house sell out uh, sell, 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 sell well more your help is no use now bro you know yeah. Yeah, yeah but I didn't want people to, to show up because like first of all it's your friends your friends you know even if you do make them laugh which my friends didn't laugh while they just stared at me like what the fuck they're right? not real friends yep. yeah yeah. even if they did laugh like I felt like no there's no point because it's, it's not your a, friends yeah it's not yeah. random people you know yeah, like, like right. I'm not gauging my, mm. my response uh, properly we're right. going go and try it out man. and I'll definitely show up dude. Yeah, yeah just let us know bro. likewise definitely we'll do mad respect to people that do stand up yeah it's, uh, not, it's, easy, not, a, it's not an easy thing you know but um, it's also easily one of the most under uh, like uh, underestimated uh, profession it right? is or talent or skill because when you listen to someone who's really good at it right really mm-hmm. polished right they literally look like they're just talking yeah, but it's not that man. Yeah, um, like how Dave Chappelle does it, bro. It's oh, like, Dave Chappelle, he, the guy he's is like <laughs> the goat, uh. the goat, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, f- for me, definitely. Yeah, yeah. D- Dave Chappelle's down. the goat. Yep. You y- you know like uh Uncle Uncle Roger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was re like he did stand up for ten years, man. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, sure. yeah. A lot of people didn't know he did that. They think of him as just this like right cooking guy on on. But but this um dude was telling me coming from UK. He was telling me that even before Uncle Roger in UK, he was on all the the talk shows, everything. He was big already. Oh it's shit! Just that we had no fucking idea. Yeah, like uh, uh apparently his crowd work, uh, roasting material. That's his what he flourishes at uh. But do you all like his Uncle Roger Uncle Roger content? I mean, I I get a flair to it lah. I get sometimes a bit too much, yeah. but I get I get it lah. Strong yeah. brand. Strong brand. Yeah. yeah. Strong. Like like you said, it's, it's his thing. People watch it for that, yeah. Strong brand, but uh, I when I when I watched it, right? Because typically, typically, I don't really like all this like super strong Chinese stereotype type of shit. But I I thought his shit was much better yeah. hmm. than most of the ones that we would see. Yo, Raj. Yo. So did you get into fights? So? Um, <laughs> no, no, not not really. Now I'm thinking back. I, I wasn't a very confrontational kid growing up. I really kept to myself. I was a nerd, to be very honest with you. In primary school, I got like first place, uh, like number one in class a yeah, lot. Same, bro. Yeah, damn. I, 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 bag, bro. I did get number one, but I was I wasn't a nerd. But this was only primary school. Or? Yeah, number yeah. one from the back. No. no. Oh, that was me, bro. One from the back. <laughs> can tell, yeah. can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can. yeah. And then, in, in, then I, so at secondary school, I feel like I missed out on life in primary school. So I became the complete opposite. Didn't care about studying. Just wanted to have fun. Uh, 
sports, extracurricular activities and shit like that. But I never got into trouble with my friends. I just, you know, kept it chill. You had no friends. Uh, no, I had plenty of friends. I was very well connected. Huh? <laughs> right, and right. Still okay. am. Okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you, Fazan? Well, did I get into fights? Yeah, yeah. Um, or did you fight people? Or? I mean, we did. Like, yeah, me and my friends, yeah. We got into fights in our heads a lot. Like, oh, men- oh. mental fights. Mental fights. So, like, because me and my friends, we are generally really chill people. So, this one time, we were outside this, um, we went to, I think, Highball or something. Mm. Oh, and then shit. We, we went to Lepak the Mama downstairs. And then this dude, out of nowhere, said to us, like, okay, go back, you cockroaches, or something like, or oh, you bitches, or whatever. And, like, me and my friends were like, oh, we just walked back to the car. And then in, in the car, we were just, like, talking so much shit. We were like, yeah, I can't, I can't you know, wait to go back and think about beating him. <laughs> 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 we were like, mentally hurting him. Like, yeah, bro, I would have yeah. punched him yeah. so hard. Like, yeah, I get it. You know what? Oh. I would have, like, did a 360. And, like, yeah. You know, yeah, we fought in the car. For- <laughs> Not with him. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, it was satisfying. Like. We are peaceful people. Right. So yeah. the mental fights are good enough. I have a similar story, like, so, okay? In my head, it, he was, like, bleeding on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so same thing, right? Like very similar to a story that I have. So um, <laughs> once, um, are you familiar with the roof? Uh, Banda Otama. Banda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So yeah. I went out with a couple of friends one night and all that. So one of my friends who who was going to drop me back home, he parked uh, in, in Valley, okay? Just so happened, he came dressed as a Valley as well, like with a black bow tie, white shirt, black pants and all, right? So when we were going back home, uh, like we w- we waited for our car and stuff. There was this dude la, who came up. He was drunk as hell. He was holding a hundred bucks. He was looking at my friend. He was like, just like that. Then my friend was like, what do you want? Go get my car. <laughs> my, my friend at that point, I thought he was going to like, oh, he's going to start some shit and all that. But he didn't do anything, right? He just took the hundred bucks. No, he didn't even <laughs> take the hundred bucks. I would have, I would have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Then he was like, no, 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 I'm not a valet here. So he got in his car. And then he just waited for this guy just to have a look. And then this guy got into a Ferrari and then he left. And then that's when in the car, my friend was like, fuck that guy, who the fuck yeah, is he? Yeah, think yeah. he is <laughs> motherfucker. Exactly. And I was, like, I was like, you already yeah. could have done it just now if you yeah, wanted to. Fight, yeah, okay. Everyone <laughs> does it right. Yeah, dude. Uh, especially to uh, people who, you're, like, you're bullies, right? You just yeah. think you're in the showers, you know. <laughs> oh, beat up that dude. Good. If anyone were to bully y'all now, what what would y'all do? Just Beat punch him off. Yeah. <laughs> Just punch him. But what if it happens at the workplace? I call HR. HR. I know bullying you. No, I know no, like no, no. It's all oh, Is it N? No, no. It's all okay. <laughs> Lily? I love my colleagues. My Lily. co-announcers are great. <laughs> okay, Um, at the workplace, I guess you just think of, like, do you prioritize your job or... Oh, wait. Or you, the right thing to do is, I guess, have a word with your upper uh, or HR, you know, about mm. this guy's behavior. Yeah. But mm-hmm. what if the person bullying you is HR. Mm. <laughs> then you're fucked, la. <laughs> or if it's your boss, la, mm. right? Then that one, you're definitely fucked, yeah. Yeah. I think only time I've ever gotten into a fight, I was standard one. Standard two. Yeah, so, um, when I was standard six, I was this height. So I was very, very tall. I, st- I stopped growing. You were this height in standard six? Yeah, I stopped growing. At, uh, it's on st- HGH, bro. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Start, uh, start That's Yao Ming shit, la. Yeah, so I was really, really tall. <laughs> right. And then, um, I don't know. It's so weird, man. How things were in, in standard two. Like people are just saying, like, "Hey, hey you want to fight? Like, go fight!" Like, there's this guy. Huh? He wants to fight people and all. So I, I'm not a confrontational person at all. You know, I don't, I don't think I'm not aggressive at all. So, so I remember I go to this sand pit. Mm. Okay, and he, this dude is one year my senior. He was like the gangster of the school because okay. he's, he's standard two or standard three at the time, and he's smoking and. Hmm. Yeah, he's smoking a lot, dude, until he talks. Uh, For a yeah. standard two? Yes. Fuck. Right? That's mad. Yeah, That's so he mad. was not, uh, literally a gangster. Uh, was okay. it Rids? Huh? Was he smoking Rids? I don't know. Uh, don't mm. even know what is Rids back then. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I still don't know what Rids is now. It's, uh, it's uh, the strongest kind of cigarette. Daniel Daniel it's like Rids. Epsin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. like Epsin. Like Epsin's a bit much. It's like a... Isn't it? But Ritz is the strongest one. Yeah. Really? I'm sure you it's can like, find strong. It's legal. Ah, legal, legal. legal, legal. Okay. It's like, like Dunhill, right, bro? Like it's red in color. Yeah. And okay. then they have the blue one. So right. the blue is like milder. Okay. Yeah, the red is the more intense The red one. gives you the kick. Line. So Ritz is what color? Red. Black. Oh, red. They are red. Okay, yeah. red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so back, back to fighting that dude. Yeah. Okay, I went to this. I went to the corner of the Padang during recess. And right. they're having fights there. Okay, standard two. So I go up to this sand pit and then I'm supposed to fight the guy and then fight start and I kick the guy 
and he cried. Uh. Oh, damn. Yeah, damn. He just cried. And what, what, what kind of kick was it? Was it like roundhouse or straight up? A spinning back kick to the head. Ooh. No, la, it's just a, shit. just kick his leg or some yeah. shit. La. Yeah. Like, and, and he cried. And shit. I never saw that dude again mm. until maybe last year or two years ago. I went to the boxing gym. I'm like, fuck, this guy looks damn familiar, man. Right. Yeah, and then, of course, I'm his friend. Like, I, I, I got to know him, and then he's my bro and all. But I never brought it up with him, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. What, what would happen if you did, though? Nothing, you just laugh out, dude. <laughs> right. So you became what the- What are you doing there? It's a guitar. <laughs> no, bro, just fu- <laughs> fucking- the- the- Yeah, of course, you'll fuck up the whole thing, dude. Why? Man, <laughs> say, <laughs> only fools <laughs> rush It's in. because, like, Backstreet Boys came last night, right? Yeah. What's it, Westlife? Westlife. Westlife. Be- uh, Blue, Boys- Blue came a few weeks ago. Backstreet Boys were in Singapore the day yeah. before yesterday. Yeah. And so, this song has nothing to do with that. No, what song was that that you were singing? Mm. Like a river flows Surely into the, the deep. Who the fuck is that? Elvis Presley. Elvis, Elvis Presley. What do you think of One Direction? That's more like a. They're not. Uh, we are cooler than than One One D. Let's put it that I way. I think Zayn is hot though. Yeah, yeah, but he's very controversial. Are you hotter than yes. Zayn? Yeah. Sorry. You think you're hotter than Zayn? Who me? Yeah. I mean, like, people have called me like hey, yeah. Zayn. Zayn. Like dreamy. I mean, I get, get confused. Zayn. Zayn. Close, close yeah, I get confused. <laughs> <on> <laughs> Zayn Malik. <laughs> yeah. He likes yeah. Eminem a lot. Slim yeah. Shady. Yeah. Um. Um, hip hop lah. Like, you you're more of like a Biggie. Biggie. Yeah, I'm, I mean the two greatest of all times so were Park and Biggie. Respect, rest in peace. You know. Did, so you guys weren't into bands. Were you all into bands in yeah, high school? I was la. Like blue, what? I was into blue. I was into blue. Yeah. Okay, so like instrumental bands. I mean, instrumental bands. They all play instruments, bro. Blue. Blue has like back, backing track is like an instrument also. Uh, I think he makes like a classical band, like one drummer, one. Ah, uh, like Blink like, 182. Linkin Park, uh, bro. All American Rejects. Yeah, yeah they're also pretty good. Yeah, move along. Uh, you know, not- that I am a worm. I am a man. I am. A- you know, Slipknot? I mean, we, we kind of got it. Yeah. Like, we extended that for like seven <laughs> seconds. Yeah. We could have done it just. <laughs> As, yeah. Um, no, like Event that. 7 4? Yeah. I know about it. I don't yeah. I know A7X people always post about it. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know like Dead Mouth 5? <laughs> you know what motherfuckers it's, call it Dead Mouth 5? It's Dead Mouse. Wow. Uh, don't tell me, tell them. I know it's Dead Mouse 5. <laughs> yeah. But I did have friends who say, y'all, y'all are going uh, for the Dead Mouth 5 course. <laughs> probably when he was, wanted to name himself, they were like, this name is taken. Yeah. It's like my Instagram name is Zan underscore 5. Yeah. Why did I do that? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Do her, are you oh, yeah. religious? I'm spiritual. Okay. You so know what's the difference? You like horoscopes? It's like pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> you like horoscopes? No. You got a nose ring, your hair's dye your hair blue. That's not spiritual, that's. Oh, that's, that's metaphysical. Uh, no, like blue hair and a septum piercing and, and horoscope oh, is that's like. Raj, that's not... Try not to. Don't do this? Yeah, bro. What, yeah? He's gonna. Rah, 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 the whole oh, thing. Oh, he's gonna do that, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you fucking knew that, lah. <laughs> yeah. Aku are the type. Ta da da. Aku like, kalata, aku swipe. The din thing. Swipe! <laughs> that should be like in your promo for this podcast. Sayang paramu, hanya bida dari sebagai ganti. How's the guitar? Why not singing, bro? <laughs> Do not speak Malay. <laughs> oh, come on! You don't know Malay? I do, I do. Okay. What the fuck? Blanje, blanje is it? Uh, what? Dalam biar mo. Okay, sekarang kita cakap macam mempi, boleh? <laughs> Why would you speak in such a way? At least it's got sister lah. Just like yeah. speaking in English. That is true. That is true. Consistency lah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Satu kali, uh-huh. aku cakap dalam accent rempit okay. untuk sebulan. Kenapa? Ya, yeah, kerana uh, uh, initially, yeah. it started as a joke lah. Melayu, Melayu, cakap Melayu. Okay. Eh, hey, shock though. Okay. Without the rempit accent. Macam biasa. Macam, biasa macam mana bro? Macam biasa je. <laughs> uh. So, so um, Slumber je cakap. Pada mulanya, kita nak cakap dalam BM kerana seronok you know lawak saja hmm. tapi uh, lepas satu dua minggu kawan saya mereka rasa macam tak lawak dah tak lawak hmm. ya yeah, so <laughs> saya seorang saja cakap <laughs> dalam BM sebab awak seorang rasa dah lawak lah ya yeah, ya yeah, uh. yeah. 
Memang uh, lawak pun lah orang cakap. Yeah. Uh, until one point, I realised it was quite bad lah. So I stopped. I feel like if you're Malaysian and you can't speak BM, it's not fair lah to the country. I like the glasses. Yeah, like, hey, thanks bro. Like, I just got it. The bridge on top. Yeah. Don't we you just got it. You've Like few few weeks ago, I got But it. you've had that glasses be- like even before? There's another pair of weird glasses. Yeah. <laughs> it's not weird it's 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 branding you bro. agree no no it's, 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 it's branding you know I want people I feel like at one point when you had the crutches it's like it matches your crutches because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a thing on top yeah, and thank like, you for noticing now, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah I appreciate fashion, that fashion hip hop you know I get it yeah culture yeah. Um, yeah, I love Carhartt stuff bro. I love Carhartt I think it um it's a very good representation of who I am yeah. mm. it's stylish it's yeah. trendy mm. it's durable yeah. it's workwear so you will feel like you can really relate to cotton I love cotton, heavyweight yeah. cotton, you know. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's I, practical. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I look at metal and relate myself to it sometimes. Like, what, what kind of metals? Like steel, you know. Handsome. Man of steel, that's what they call you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, People have mistaken me for Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill too. Henry mm. Cavill. Cavill. I see. At a glance. I see. At a glance. glance. I don't really see the resemblance though. You don't? Am I weird for saying that? Yeah. 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 A bit. Yeah. Dude. Well, judging by how movies are going these days, I think they're done with the whole, um, like brown people quota. They're going into whole like. Female. Yeah, ah, like, so more like Vishnu. This is so more like Vishnu kind of <laughs> vibes. Yeah, Women vibes. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> just touch up a little bit yeah. on the facial hair. If you play Superman, just take out the U, bro. That's what you'd be. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, I was thinking, where is you in Rajma? Like, what? Where is you? Has anyone ever made this joke? Oh? What joke? Rajmura. Oh, yeah. people say they're like, oh, Rajma, who's a Rajmura? Like, fuck you. You know, you know what? Like, yeah, yeah. You, know what <laughs> you know what they do? You know they do for like what what they would say for me? Yeah. But guess up. It's pretty obvious, yeah, man. King Kong, dude. King Kong. Yeah. yeah. King Kong. Cause you're Brian Kong. Yes, that's not bad, to be honest. It's quite lame, it's bad, dude. Yeah, yeah but but if it, it was like Brian Conke, then we got funny. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so what's Conke? Yeah, when he releases his energy every day. Oh, no, 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 no. If he no, releases sorry. his energy inside you, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what, that's okay. If you are a guy, right? Okay, a straight guy. If I am a guy. I am a guy. <laughs> yeah. Go on. If you are a straight guy, you can go okay. on. You're a straight, and you guys don't like doing gay chicken jokes right I mean I, I like we're okay with the jokes yeah, yeah. I, I know that's what I'm saying are there guys What? who are those guys that don't like gay chicken jokes guys so I, I guess insecure about their masculinity maybe I think mm. Eric wouldn't like it though yeah yeah he wouldn't he's way too masculine for that but uh, you wouldn't know he and Tristan probably slap ass all the nah, time nah bro if they would it would have been on their vlogs they're yeah. so they're so like very like hoo, like burly men yeah. yeah. so I don't think they would have enjoyed that lah yeah. yeah but to each their own you know to each their own yeah. Yeah. yeah I think like you know like love is love you don't yeah why love. try to why try to like limit it you know just express it in a way you like yeah even to your buddies or? even to your buddies yeah. Yeah. if they're cool with it yeah, well, no, yeah. I, mean, I feel a lot of rapport when I do like romance stuff with my friends you know yeah like, yeah definitely yeah. yeah first time I met one of your buddy uh, Norman yeah yeah um, he he got a bit touchy yeah, and yeah. I kind of liked it my friends are touchy yeah yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We're, we're how to say <laughs> I think we're very expressive gay no, expressive. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're, not, we're not gay. Mm. I mean, we love each other as friends. But like, but... N- 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 we're not attracted to each other, you know what I mean? I... But speaking of which, mm. do you guys find men attractive? Of course. Um, Some, yeah. yeah. Like, good looking. Like, like good looking yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 things like that, yeah. Like, like credits where it's due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one for I sure, think yeah. some men are like damn attractive. And yeah. that yeah. doesn't make me like, you like, know, gay or yeah, Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Does, does it make you feel like, like fuck, I want, I want to like work towards that also. Does it, does it give you that? Work, yeah, sometimes work it does. towards that or work like at getting, at getting, at, at getting like not you, getting them physically, oh, but like okay, right. emulating some sort of physical oh, characteristic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it looks a certain way, like, bro. Yeah. That's like attractive. So you want to like, look like, you want to have I mean. that. So, For example, yeah. Vision wanted to be like Biggie his whole life, and he's working towards that. You know, <laughs> what's wrong with music Biggie? wise, rap yeah, wise, yeah, rap yeah, wise, yeah, yeah. rap wise, yeah, 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 yeah. Wise. Good luck on that journey, Vishnu. He's already there. Yeah, four million views. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw some bars, draw some lines. Nah, bro, I don't know what to say. Come like. on, just, just, just yeah, let's say the lines, bro. Did I like the way you call me big. Pa- no, from the rap video. Okay, okay, okay. You know that that dude. He said, sorry, he's about to drop some bars really. Yeah, like, but shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the culture, right? Never mind, I saw the culture, you know? It's bigger than all of us. Okay. Salam kawan-kawan dengan apa yang kukarang India fase Melayu. Yeah, we go. Jepang, <laughs> dah. 
Fuck this guy. Andalah. <laughs> Dua tahun lewat masih tak capai wawasan nak bincang isu perkawinan yang selalu diabaikan. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Bar, it's all right. Bars, yeah. <laughs> you know, speaking of like comedy and music and stuff, do you know um, um, Sona One recently did one with the comedian? Uh, Douglas Sim. That was so good. Yeah. Was Adu. Oh, I didn't know. Adu. Adu. Yeah, 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 it was sketchy. It was sketchy. Yeah, it was, yeah, was cool. That was a banger. I really like Douglas Sim's comedy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When he had his whole YouTube skit thing yeah, going on. Yeah. Dude, some people are saying like, Ah, uh, he's a sellout because he starts doing Malay content so that he can reach more people. He, no, like this guy, lah. That's, that's not a sellout. That's not a sellout. That's not a sellout. Yeah. He was yeah. doing Malay content for ages, bro. Yeah. yeah. Right. My friend was saying this: if you open a restaurant, you make your restaurant non-halal, you have to be pretty fucking brave to basically like eliminate like seventy percent of your clientele. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So what's wrong with appealing to like the majority? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, if it's in Malay, like you guys will understand as well. You don't, you don't have to be Malay to understand but like if you do it in English I think that's a population certain population that might not relate Correct. to your joke you yep. know what I mean I agree well, Malay is more universal to be honest in our country yeah mm-hmm. yeah to be fair so, uh, totally agree and I think whoever said that or have that thought in mind is straight up a hater yeah, yeah. probably yeah. probably so what's the dumbest thing you've heard all day this day today yeah today uh, I think now I'm hearing quite a lot of dumb yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Lost track, right? I, I'll be honest man you guys are dumber than expected and yeah. I'm impressed though. School. that's good yeah Raj especially I thought Raj is a very Dude, se- dude, I, dude, dude I'm, I'm a serious, serious person. person I'm so Fucking serious, serious. <laughs> I am though And yes I am right Because yeah. I'm in the zone What's going on I'm just like, explaining How I feel in oh, a song Right Shit Yeah <laughs> Are we dumber than Ashraf though Yeah That's the surprising part Those comics all oh, They're pretty dumb right You guys are dumber dude That's the oh. That's what I'm impressed You all should do comedy Yeah Yo Benzo Dude you know this guy raps Oh, oh no shit! Oh. Okay, I'm just like bro. You, your phone. I just I'll just play your shit, dude. Okay, Bitch. guys, we gonna hear this for a bit. Yeah. Oops. Benzo, uh, pick it up, drop it down, pull it back, left and right, up and down, baby girl, where you going? Cadillac, put a sack, matte black, new Patek, Nike tag, Louis bag. What's, What's the tool? Copper bag, drop a rag, ride the track, run the track, man in black, I'm like Vogel to him. Swipe a card. Oh, it's a spot size, bro. Shit. Dude, parental advisory, man. Oops. <laughs> He's got a whole album bro. Hey! Bro, that's awesome, bro. So what's his house how's his rap skills? It's dope, bro. It's dope. Good, bro. Dope, yeah, dope, yeah dope. you guys look like you're not lying, man. Yeah, he's good, he's good. Ah, he's actually good. Wait, you think otherwise or what? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> four, four million views, you know. How would I know? If it wasn't good, we would have stopped you like four seconds into yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know when someone makes you watch them play music and their music just ain't it? Yeah. I would stop I would stop no, I would stop them, like why put them through the misery, you know? Yeah. yeah, mumble. Yeah, oh, fuck, I can't stand mumble. It's an art, lad. It's art. I, 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 okay, it's, it's not fair to say I can't stand it. I can't relate to oh, it. Oh, you don't mm. dig mumble? Sometimes it's well, yeah. but it's catchy. Do you, do you consider Migos like a mumble rap? They are. I don't I think mean, they're they, they are. Yeah, they are. They are epitome of. Um, yeah. Yeah, but you can't understand what they say though. Yeah, right? because the, the, yeah, like I said, theirs is really catchy. Yeah. So even if you can't understand, but it's like catchy, you know mm. what I mean. But if you try to like mumble rap something like very meaningful, it's just like what the fuck. Yeah. Is yeah, 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 yeah. I no- Did you watch Physical Hundred? Yeah. Loved it. You didn't, right? Uh, we watched the first two oh, yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just there until all the women like got kicked out. Don't mm. mind. No, I'm serious. Pretty I thought you though. would appreciate the competition, Men? the endurance competition. Um, I like women. You guys like girls. Yeah, a lot. Do you? Yeah, she's dating one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a primary school joke, bro. I'm disappointed you said it. Okay, my yeah. bad, bro. I, I mean, it's just an. Uh, <laughs> I think women are like beautiful and and um, they just have this like kind of compassion. Some of them are. Some of them. Yeah, I was just wondering. Yeah, 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 What's your yeah. favorite? Your favorite part of a woman? Part of a woman. Yeah. I think just they are like. Boobs. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, you got two already. How much do you want? No, he's talking about like, you know, um, like not physical attributes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. My bad. So, <laughs> no, no. I, I, yeah. you, could, you could mention physical no, no, attributes. I don't want to like, you know, like, but yeah? boobs, yeah. Yeah. Boobs, huh? No, what? That's very no, judgmental. No, no, you didn't say anything, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, okay. Um, so, what's your favorite part? Um, I think it's just, yeah, like, um, just a really kind touch. To have, like to everything. Mm, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who's the stupidest? All of them. No, 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 no. I okay. think. Get out. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Fazan is yeah. He's let probably me, the stupidest. No, no. Let me breathe. Yeah. What Harry Styles answered? Harry Styles. Yeah. Your favorite part of a woman. Yeah. What is it? 
If you say you like a woman's no. personality, you just like their tits, yeah, it's yeah, a fucking yeah. lie. You can't like a woman's personality. You can, but well, you not. just said it was lame. Okay, let's say, let's say. <laughs> when Harry Styles said it, it's lame, okay? Oh, for, okay. For, for a mil- multi million dollar artist, it's yeah. lame. Okay, let's say, let's say. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. Like, those of you who have gone through marriage mm. will kind of like understand that like um it's over it <laughs> that's one uh-huh. that only lasts for a while but when you like live with a person you're with them every day you kind of like appreciate um a woman's like sort of kind yes. slower touch to yeah, things their approach like sometimes guys are all like gung-ho and stuff and yeah. then women comes in and suddenly everything's like calm and yeah. i think I, I can learn to appreciate that you know like, okay. like yeah you know that that saying um it's not a saying lah, but a lot of the dudes the guys that i talk to they yeah they want to bag a kampung girl you know what i'm saying what? yeah because <laughs> Oh, you never heard that because a couple like, girls. You basically just... go to Kampong and like put the girl in the back. Oh, uh, oh it's, 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 a, it's a TikTok trend. Oh shit! Yeah, I've seen that. Like they kidnap a girl, basically, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's scary, bro. You know, there there was this case about my friend's um like like school bag that got possessed. They made a movie about it called Paranormal Activity. Uh, okay. Do you know which animal is the chillest animal ever? They can't chill because they can chill. <sighs> okay. Yeah, do you, you start a joke? Sorry? You started the joke, is it? I finished the story. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wish I didn't hear that. Love. Okay, what's what's the uh, hardest part of a vegetable? What's the hardest part? The paling keras part of a vegetable. You tell me. Paling keras, huh? Uh, the, uh, the stem? I don't know. The answer is the wheelchair. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! That's how you do a proper joke. Right? It's, oh, it's, yeah. more, it's more bit, but yeah. yeah you got more experience than me, bro. Hey, yeah. you're talking. Can I put around China? So can check out CB. Can I put? Can I China Barbie lah? <laughs> you shouldn't laugh at this. Why? What? No, yeah. I'm just surprised you said his first few Malay words was quite know, yeah, right? heartwarming. Yeah. Without the rampant accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He saved, thank you God. <laughs> He's free from his possession. Could you speak with the accent now again? Like, Bully. It's just weird. Bully. He's not doing it anymore. <laughs> it's quite weird, really. Any Dharma fans? What fans? Dharma. What would you be fans he, of? He loves fans? Dharma, bro. Oh, Definitely. then why would you lie, dude? Oh, no, I do. Why do you lie so who, much? Who would want to idolize a serial killer? I think it's quite dumb that someone dresses up as a serial killer for Halloween. I put it out there. You can be a fan without idolizing. Why would you want to be a fan of a serial killer? Fan of the series. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I guess that's fair. So you're a fan of the series, huh? I didn't even watch it. But he's he talks out of shit. That's part of his brand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He actually likes him, lah. Who likes you? You like Jeffrey? Dunn. So you just like to lie, huh? Him. That's his brand. I can't I, tell I, who's I only speak the truth. Ask me any question, I'll tell you so the truth. So was he 80 kgs last time? Yeah, he was. Maybe even lighter. How? How? Oh, I just started eating again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, food, is, food is good. Uh. Yeah, yeah, food is, food, food is the ultimate drug. I can't drug, blame you. Uh. Food is good. Like, I think for the longest time, I only had like diet food, like tuna and like, like tandoori that's and stuff. That's not diet like. food. That's like just healthier. Dude. Okay, yeah, healthier. Okay, yeah. okay. Let, then when I had nasi lemak again, bro, shit. How, okay, how did you lose that weight? <laughs> Uh, like like and and within uh how long of a time span? So I think more or less a year. Yeah, then it was just forty maintain- k- thirty plus kgs. In yeah, a like year. just maintaining it, lah, bro. Maybe a year and a half. Just really? exercise and exercise. Yeah, proper food. What type of exercise? It. Back then, Sucking it was just dick, like exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sex size. Do you make fun of him often? No, come on, no. I respect you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. I can't really tell, but yeah, that's the way it should be, man. Yeah. No, I love him a lot. He's a good friend. Uh, we don't we don't banter with each other much. In fact, actually, when we speak, we speak in a British accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, exactly. You know? In private, you feel like you banter, are. Like... You guys come off. Uh, you you're more kinder when you speak in a British accent. Yeah, yeah, oh. for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's a secret. So are we gonna do British accents no, right now no, or no, nah? No, it's a private right? thing that only brown people do. You're nah. not sorry. I'm no no offense, but you're not. Why must to. you be brown to speak British? Because we were colonized uh, yeah. by them many years ago. So. Me too. Chinese person living in Malaysia. No, they didn't colonize yeah. you. You they brought you guys here. Hey man, I'm equally as traumatized. I think by that's fair to like. Uh, that's unfair to compare your thing with ours, lah. Our thing, yeah. Thank Who is ours? The brown boys. You're not even Indian. <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm brown. I'm brown. I'm brown. Are you Indian? So, while you were on that um, miraculous journey, mm-hmm. 
what was the hardest part? It's eating good food, bro. I think. You, yeah. you mean eating healthy food was the hardest part? No, no, no. Eating junk food. Uh, no, avoid, no, I, avoiding temptation okay. love eating that and like <laughs> so you that. just learned yeah. English yesterday so which was the biggest word you just used what oh I that's not bad right? <laughs> 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 we, we are okay. from somewhere <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what <Where laughs> fuck y'all <laughs> But you see that? <laughs> he did. I once stole a girl in standard oh, four. Um, so it was me and my friend, right? Manoj, Ravi Shankar, Charlotte Manoj. So is that Indian? Or? Yeah, he's Indian. Yeah. <laughs> Does the name sound okay, Chinese wait, to you? Or? Okay, so Manoj, Ravi Shankar, and I were sitting outside of school on the swing, uh, waiting for our like van auntie to pick Ooh, us up. And uh, this girl who was like the school bully, but not really. Yeah. So we she came to like annoy us. Then I told her like, "Hey, fuck off." Was she hot? No, not really. Okay. Yeah. And then she went to call her mom and her stepdad came in to like confront us and, and, and the mom was like, oh, who who told my daughter to fuck off? Then I pointed to Manoj and then Manoj was like, yeah, sorry. Oh, what a, what a G. What a G. What a was G. the mom hot? I can't remember. La. Okay, if the girl was hot, would you say that? Would you have said fucked off to her? I, I think I would uh, have. I sure not. I would have really hot because she was like, I didn't understand the impact of the word back then. Okay, if Megan Fox came up to you, would you would like fuck off? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, assert dominance. Megan, well. You would insert dominance, not assert dominance. Insert dominance. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because I'm, I'm in a happy relationship insert, now. No, no, not now. We talking about back then when you. When we're not single. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah no, after Megan Fox had like a fallout with Machine Gun Kelly recently, she slid into my DMs. Yeah. Actually, she was like, "Oh, you know, I you know things didn't work out with us last time, but can we get back together?" Mm. You know, did you? Then, you? She said, she "Did you, you play cool or you replied?" No, of course, like cool. I'm a cool guy. I'm always cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I told you, look, it's too late. The ship has sailed. Okay, I will ask you guys this now. Yeah. And uh, you can't lie about I, this. I won't lie. Okay. I never lie. Like, yeah, we have partners and all. We have partners. That's true. Yeah. We love our partners. Yeah. But at Respect. some point, you know, you you there's someone that's always attractive to you. Mm, right? mm, and if you, yeah. like, you tell me, if you tell me like, no, my partner is like the most beautiful. That you you're lying clearly, right? Yeah. And really which cool? which person that if they came to you and said they love you and I wanted to get with you that you would probably think of like, okay, you know what? I might just leave my partner for this person. You can, you can name like celebrities, you can name like, um, you know, whatever, okay, your idol, your idol. Whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be yeah. completely honest. Yeah, yeah. Minnie Mouse. If she came to you and she came up to me, yeah. I would smash the shit That's out of That's a safe answer. I'm sorry, by the way, I still love you. My girlfriend is off camera. It's, yeah. What about yours? Who's yours? <laughs> If like a, a really hot guy came up to you, if like, imagine if Ryan Reynolds came up to you and be like, you know what? He's not hot for you? I'm Charlie Tato. Chris I was, Evans. I was very upset. She's like the white guys. Let her answer lah. Oh, Idris <laughs> Elba. Jay-Z. Um, oh. Jay-Z. <laughs> Kanye West. Drake. Bro, bro, you're getting it wrong. Look at who she picked. Um, Kanye West? Or? She picked Drake, <laughs> bro. For Valentine's Day, I gave her a little umpa because I don't believe in buying flowers. Fair, yeah. And yeah. and she bought tickets to go and see Hon, who are coming down in like a, in like a couple of months. It okay, Hon. Okay, Hon. Hon. H O N N E. It's pronounced. It's it, it, You can. Artist it's pronounced as Honne. She she used the she used the umpa money to buy tickets for the concert for myself and for her. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. It's great. It got something to like. And then I find out in 2019, the last time they came to Malaysia. She was right at the front of the concert singing all their songs word for word. Right. One of the guys, Andy, saw it and gave her a hug. And I'm so upset that she used my Valentine's Day umpao to buy tickets to an artist that has hugged. Yeah, yeah that hugged them. I, I, I was shook, bro. You gotta diss him on stage, bro. Yeah. You gotta know all the lyrics. Yeah, so he yeah. comes and hugs you. Hugs me. Yeah. And I will tell him off this time when we're going to the concert. I'll tell him how dare you hug my girlfriend before she was my girlfriend. Okay, okay. Let's do a role play now. Okay, okay? let's do a role play. So... You haven't seen this dude since you found out about that shit lah. Yeah. I've never seen him in my life. What's his name? Hon. Andy. Hone. Hone. Yeah, Andy, Andy. Hone. okay? Andy. Andy from Hone. So Andy just fin- finished singing and then he walks past you and then he bumps into you. And he's like, watch where you're going, yeah. bitch. Yeah, he what sees you, me. He yeah, sees, sees that me. to you. He says that in a British accent. Yeah. yeah. Can you like, yeah. Watch where you're going, bitch. I don't know how to say it in a British accent. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Watch, 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 watch where you're going, bitch. Not bad. still Australian actually, yeah, but it's cool. Huh? What would you say to that guy? Oh, Andy? Yeah. Um, I cock set him because that's how we start fights. Yeah. You, know? you uh, cock suck him? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, what did you say? I say I cock stare him. Cock stare. Which means to stare his cock. Because oh. you got to see how big it is first yeah, before you start going for it. We don't want no small shit in so, the vicinity. What if you find out he's about two inches bigger than you? 
that's about like 300 meters okay so you back down like yeah. I, i i never back down i strategically retreat okay. that's the difference Done. he doesn't back down he bends down oh, oh bends. Yeah. That's, that's different that's what he did there yeah do you think that you've gotten stupider since you've mm. or maybe you've gotten funnier she's gotten a cubing chain now for sure yeah <laughs> I have the same one over my dog. <laughs> cool. Okay, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, like, share. Uh, please follow uh, Farzan on Instagram is Zan underscore Far. Please follow Raj as well. Thank you, Raj, your... Raj Mahal bro. Raj Mahal bro. Vish, Vish with the fro. At Vishro. Guys, we have reached the end of the episode. One last word. Word. Last word. Yeah, one. Word. You. Skrpapa. Vishnu. 80 kgs. <laughs> Let's get it! That's two words though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and if you laugh even one time, click that subscribe button. If you made it all the way this far to the podcast, man, what are we doing? Yeah, please, please let us know if you actually laughed. Yeah. If you didn't subscribe and you watched till the end, right, you need to rethink your life. Bro. If you reach all the way here, heck, I'll give you the password to my email address, man. Like, Okay, guys, leave a comment. Who is the dumbest on this couch today? I think we know, but... Uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Mm. Give it up for Farzad Iqbal, Raj Mahal, Respect, Vishnu, Love. See you guys in the next episode. It's my homies. I'm missing my oldies, my brothers, my crowdies. We all went to court, but before only course that we knew were the ones where we were shooting guns, selling cozy. To a legend, rest in peace to the old me. Rest in peace to my brothers, rest in peace to my whole team. The oldest, I'm missing my shawty.